Welcome to Photogram Live, episode 7, recorded live on July 12th, 2017. Photogram Live is where we review your user submitted Grom and Z125 photos, check out some new products, and talk about all things Grom and Z125 related. Joining me on the couch is Mr. Mike. Hold on. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Mike. <laughs> Mr. Lando, fellow photographer here. Hello. Hey, say hello, guys. What's up, guys? Hey, buddy. They're going to be joining me on the couch looking through some of your user submitted photos. We have seven entries this week. And uh, at the end of the episode, we're going to vote with you guys in the live chat. So if you're in the live chat, make sure you engage. Mr. Mike will be talking to you guys, asking some of your questions on the air, yada, yada, yada. yada Lando's yada. going to be helping me with some uh, critiquing of the submissions. We have. I'm like going to help too. Mike's going to help too. Yeah. But we got yeah. seven good submissions. Come on. And we're also going to edit some photos today. So we got three different choices. You guys are going to pick them in the live chat. Uh, so here's, before we start, let me get these up. We got one, two, or three. So in the live chat, let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. There we go. Mike's working that live chat. In the live chat, you guys can vote for which photo you want to see edited. And again, here are the choices. We got one, Mr. Saucy Stunts from the Dank Wheelie Saucy Stunts stunt ride not too long ago. Mr. Dank Wheelie himself. Or Lando took this picture. Everybody, <laughs> Lando, right here, took this picture on the Fort July ride. Uh, so pick whichever one you want to do. This is three, two again, and one. Vote in the live chat. We'll circle back and edit some of those a little later in the show. We're going to be talking about our feature product today, which is the Cena 20S sent in from Cena. It only took... Yay, yay. It only took me like since September to uh, get a free one, but they finally sent one, so thanks, Cena. Now I gotta put that Cena at the end, so, you know, Cena Connect, a little commercial at the end you always see. Uh, but pretty cool. Lando has a Cena, Mike apparently has a Cena. So, uh, we we'll just be, found out. Yeah, we're gonna be uh, yeah, talking about out. that and yeah, yeah. what there is to talk about on the Cena. So get ready. Future, uh, future uh, episodes of Photogramma will have some Cena communication. Mr. Wally's not here. Let me just address that. Who a cares? Long. Yeah, I know. Mr. Wally's not here. He's in Hawaii, um, but he did tell me to FaceTime him. So before we start, let's see if we can get Mr. Wally here on FaceTime. If we can, that would be good things. All right. How do I do this? Do it this way. Let's go like that. Let's do this camera. Hey, Mr. <laughs> Wally. Hello. All right. Mr. Wally is in Hawaii. Uh, Gay? Hey guys, we're, we're on the couch. Oh, Adam, you guys are so cute. Oh. Oh, thank you. Hold on, couple photo. Couple we, photo. We love you. There it is. Let me see that view real quick, buddy. Oh, uh, let me get this over <laughs> over here. Did you have a baby? What is that noise? There's a baby here. There's a baby. There we go. Look at that view. Yeah, we're off. So Mr. Wally is out in Hawaii right now, so he's on vacation. Um, but he's still here in spirit. Adam, what's up, buddy? You guys are having a blast. Follow them on Snapchat, Wallster13. Oh, he gets a, he gets a call. And oh, I don't know if Adam has Snapchat. He probably yeah. does. Is that Wally's baby? That's Wally's baby. He, may, he did that quick. Yeah, he's quick. All right, Wally. <laughs> we love you, buddy. Say goodbye. Bye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> All right, so Wally will be back hopefully next week. Um, but this week we got Lando, and Lando is a photo fellow photographer, just as good, not as good looking, but just as good fellow. Oh, I, I try. Fellow I'm also a guy. photographer. Yeah, Mike's also uh, trying to be a so photographer. I have a camera right here, <laughs> and yeah. So the three photos. So, number one, these two wow. I took. But let's look at here. Mr. Lando took this photo right here. So you guys let me know which one in the live chat you want us to uh, edit. Lando took this guy right here. That uh, seems the not unedited. Uh, it's like unedited. So this the other is unedited. Two are, yeah, so the other two are edited. No, that's just straight out of the camera. That is not uh, out of the camera. That's straight out of the camera. I'm that good. He's uh -huh. that good. So yep. let's do the first one then. Well, let's see what they say in the live chat. Don't worry about what they say. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull up the live chat here. If you guys are in the live chat, feel free to engage. There's a backstory. There is a backstory. Feel free to engage there. We got the live chat up there. We're going to go ahead and jump into the first submissions, though, without further ado. Uh, number one, go ahead, Mike, read out number one for me what we got for mods, and let me go ahead and pull them up real quick. All right, mods. This is for Charlie Mabry. Charlie Mabry, here from he is. From Prescott, Arizona. What, what? So, the 2015 Grom with Renthanol bars. Know. 
UNI filter bazazz. Uh, he's got one tooth, or he's got minus one tooth in the front. A Yosh pipe. He's got some other mods. He's got mods. Uh, he doesn't know what camera was used, um, although it was a Nikon. And so, yeah, that's that photo. Would you like his question now or later? Um, hold on to that question. All right, so usually you have to submit your own photos, but we let this one slide. Um, don't know. It doesn't have the information on the right. doesn't have any of the information. So if you took this photo, um, thank you for uh, taking the photo. It looks like great action photos. Um, yeah. What no, do you think, Lando? No photo credit. That, no photo credit, right? That kills me. But and I took it, which to, actually hurts my heart. In his defense, you got to know to add that metadata into Lightroom over here. Maybe it's his buddy. His buddy's like, hey, just, you know, here's just, a cool photo of you. Don't submit it anywhere. Just, yeah, just keep it on the low. Put it on the wall. And yeah. It's good. It was a legit camera though. What doesn't it auto pop that metadata? Uh, usually it does. If you export, you can export and uh, actually like turn that stuff off. So if you want to have it, so you don't have any of that information, which I do. So it's like a secret. It's like the, a lot of photographers do that. Yeah, you don't know what camera you're using. Yeah, you turn no, off. no, I just leave it at Nikon. Let them just figure it out. Yeah. So I. T oh wait, here we go. This one has it. Hold on, let's go here. So this one right here, if you scroll down, oh, what's that? It was 7D. It wasn't a Nikon. It was, was a 7D. A Canon, no, Canon 7D. He shot it at 77, so he had an 18 to 270 lens. I don't know what kind of lens that is. That's a new one. Uh, he shot at 1500 f8 and ISO 250. Yeah, so Canon lens. Mm. There you go. Maybe yeah. This one was a Nikon. That one's definitely had. These look straight out of camera. Nice tracksuit. Um, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So we just got back from the Smoky Mountain crawl, and you know that's pretty nice little full. That's leathers. how I looked going around the corner, <laughs> just, just like that. Look just like that with the. Arizona flag on the back and everything. I did. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys think of the Grom? First off, let's forget about the photography. Let's talk about the Grom. So he had. What do you have for mods? Let's pull that back up. He's got quite a few mods. He's got uh, bars, a uh, an intake, a pizzazz. He's got a. Uh, uh, changed his gearing a little bit. Minus one up front. He's got a, a Yosh pipe. He's got a quick turn tr uh, throttle tube, steel braided front lines, power pures, shorty levers. Does he have the pizzazz? I see the sticker. He's got a pizzazz. Uh -huh. Yep. I think it's a nice bike. Yeah. It's cool. I like Good the, looking bike. I like number plates. Yeah. I like that look. Sure. Yeah. No yeah. headlights, so does that make it legal or that illegal? Is, that is not street legal at night. He's right? straight up, he's a straight can up you, racer, can, though. Can you have that during the day without a light? Know, I no. think you have to have lights have all the time, right? Well, state know. by state. Florida, you have to have a light. Yeah. Yeah. So not a cop. I don't know. I just run it. I am. Who cares? <laughs> you have to have a light. Oh, God. So, yeah, no. good-looking bike. Uh, photos. <laughs> this photo is obviously... Not? No. This oh. photo is definitely the you. best right here. Uh, Lando, agree? Concur? Yeah, I like that. I mean, the uh, I like the road shot before. The one right before it. This one? That one. I like that. That kind of looks nice, too. But then, not that one. Okay, so not this one. Uh, that's his buddy's iPhone. That one's out of focus, yeah. I think. Well, this one is yeah, my a, professional photographer. <laughs> it's a little soft. You got the you got the car sneaking in the background. Yeah. A lot of busy stuff in the back. Uh, this one, he's you know he's shooting down, so he's got a little bit more. Uh, you can see the turn, see where he came from. I do like the slow shutter though. That is nice from this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is nice. smooth. That the makes line. you makes the Grom look real fast. Yeah, this you is know what a, I would do on that one though. Five star on that one. That's the best picture. I wish you took it, or I wish uh, we knew who took it, so we can give him proper credit. But uh, great photo, Mike. You were saying, what would you do on that one? The only thing I think I would add to that. Yes, sir. If I was going to edit that, uh -huh. maybe crush out the blacks. Crush the blacks a little bit. Just crush I, them out. You won't see his leg. I mean, crush the black. It doesn't even matter. So when Mike says crush the blacks, what he's referring to, you have these different settings up here. And from these different settings, obviously these are all neutraled out. These are all zeroed out because it's uh, already a... Uh, oh, let me turn the mic down. I'm getting some text messages saying that our mic's a little high. So let's see how that is. Which right. one? You were me. So right here, if you look at the blacks, this one's already been edited. But if you crush the blacks, that's what it looks like right there. And then you bring the blacks up. You just get that milky look if you bring the blacks up. You can do the same with contrast. Contrast kind of brings the blacks away or crushes them. So that's when Mike says he's, he wants to crush the blacks a little bit, and you just make it a little bit darker and a little bit more. But you need the you need the blacks, not crushed. Yeah, I don't like them crushed. There. I like them, and I would bring the shadows up a little bit. How much? Just a little bit. What about just a yeah. tip? What about <laughs> a, a little bit of vibrance in there? A little bit of vibrance. A little bit. Ooh, like, just, like, that's that, just a low, touch of look vibrance. Yeah, vibrance. Look, look at it. It oh, brings it up. Right. You can see the inside. So here's of the, the bike. before. Here's look at the this after. knee, though. Yeah. 
You know, you know, I'm a, uh, you know, I like my vignette, so I'm a vignette guy. Ooh. Are you a vignette guy? That's a big word I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to take it as an event. He's going to, I don't know. Watch, let's watch it. It's going to be around the edges. You ready? Here watch it goes. It. Here it goes. Uh, I go, I take my little, I can do it this way. Yeah. Well, he's got a, a little bit strong. Yeah. I can do it that way, but that's a little bit strong. What if you invert it? You can invert it, but then it'll be all black in the oh, middle. Well, I wouldn't invert it there. That's but, crushing the blacks for sure. Yeah. Uh, but this is a little, yeah, this is a little bit more contrasty than I'd want it. You like just bringing your eye to the rider. Just right to it. Look at that. Look at that. Before and after. Before and after. I mean, great photo, great mm -hmm. editing. So shout out to uh, whoever the photographer is if you're watching or if uh, this guy's watching, which is uh, Charlie. Uh, if you know the photographer, post it in the live chat. We'll give him a shout out. But good photo. The photographer doesn't have a YouTube, but he is watching. But shout out, yeah, those are good. Those shout are good pictures. Does okay. he, he have an Instagram? What's the location on those? Arizona, I would assume by his. Doesn't flag. say. I mean, it looks like a cool spot. Yeah, yeah. So but, we'll yeah. answer that live chat. Um, did we? You know, back to the photo. Great photo. Um, great submission. Uh, we'll give a shout out to that photographer uh, once we get his name. Uh, did we get a uh, answer on the uh, editing as far as which ones we're gonna do? One, two, or three? We had a lot of ones and twos, so so let's go to that. Ones or twos? I would yeah. say one. Got it. Kyle, so yeah. let's do it again. Let's do one more last vote, guys. We'll do one here, which is Kyle Saucy Stunts. Just leave it between one and two. And two. Sweet. Sorry, Lando. So Lando was three. It's just because it's all dark and not edited yet, and that's not out of the camera. Oh wait, come on. We just Come did a on. recount. Uh huh. Uh, three, I think three's got it. Yeah. Three's coming in there. Okay, we're gonna go with three. <laughs> so obviously something's happening on the couch where somebody's getting a twenty slip down there. But we're gonna go with number three, three, which is so. Mr. Lando shot right here. So this is from it the Fourth July. Flag in it. It's pretty patriotic. I'm not. Where's your lie. flag in your picture? I mean, America. I, I, so. I, I, I did have a flag. And that's not Jordan, right? Pictures. Wasn't that Jordan with the flag? That's Jordan. Jordan with the flag, with the flag back, back here. That was and a sweet idea. He's a realtor. This is uh, he, Orlando guy, Orlando Goon Squad. Mm -hmm. I he think, drove uh, all the way down, right? I think his name was Rocky. So lay on his back. Rocky, yep, he, he looped out. So did Mason. Mm -hmm. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have already <laughs> seen uh, this photo. I already edited posted on Instagram. But we'll edit here uh, halfway through. So we've got seven submissions. We're going to keep going. Jump right into uh, episode, or excuse me, submission number two. Mike, give me the rattle off for Kyle from Grom Garage. Kyle from Grom Garage. We know these guys. We know these so guys. So they are from all the way up there in North Carolina. Hold on, look at that. Look at that. That's Would clean. you just look at that? That's clean. Would you just look at that? It's pretty clean. I, I like, like the exhaust. I like, I like the Grom Garage. Look at that logo. Yeah. I still laugh at that first. Sorry. Yeah, I like that how they, look at that. Stole that whole font. Boom, boom. Made their logo. I like it. All right, go ahead. Give Why me didn't some... you copy it? I didn't like it that much. Oh. Um, <laughs> All right, give me... <laughs> Truth <laughs> comes out. All right, so the photo was taken in Tennessee. Yep. Uh, FMF exhaust, man in the box tail light, Olin's rear shock, which I'm jealous, mad jelly about that. Uh, <laughs> he's got a $15 fork mod, so probably the washers and whatever. I like that mod. It's a good one. Uh, the Kitiko clutch cover. He's got Pro Taper Honda Minis, TST sliders. He's got OTB cam covers. He's got a flush mount turn signal setup. ASV levers. Um, it's that YouTube money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so at least somebody's getting it. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's got an eBay bar ends. Uh, he's got power pures and man the box brake lines. Those are good eBay mirrors. I like those. Those are. It's fancy looking. Real super fancy. Yeah, it looks good. TSD sliders. Got a crack fender. You see that? Yeah, that's custom. Custom <laughs> fender. Scrub. Yeah. What else he's got? Uh, that's the exhaust I don't like at the stunt lot. All right, Lando. Mr. That fellow photographer. actually pretty quiet. <laughs> what do you got, my man? Me? Um, what do you think about the submission photo first? I like it. It's on a dock. Or maybe a... Maybe a walkway where you go out there to this view where a Grom should not be. You right. would like that. He it's, did it? It's nice. Um, I don't like how it's turned. You don't like how yeah, it's see the, turned I want to see way. the front. I want the front angle to me, not the back. So you don't like the back being closer than the front? Yeah. Like, and I just, it scares me it's going to go in the water. So are you scared or you just don't like the photography aspect of it? A little bit of both. Okay. So what would you change? How would you reposition this photo? Well, I'd face it towards me and then use same background. I like the shot though. It's clean. It's a clean shot. Um, did you just notice? Did angle. you notice just a tip? What? Just a tip. Did you notice just a tip? Just a tip. Did you notice it? I noticed it. Do you want to know what I think it is? What do you think it is? I think it's extra lit. <laughs> so just a tip that I'm referring to is this beautiful little foreground tip right here. You see that? He put a little foreground in there. 
You see it, right? That counts. That, that counts as foreground. Yeah. That counts as foreground. I'll allow it. That could be a bug flying by. That's a, that's a good foreground right there. So he's got foreground. He's got subject. He's got a good background. That's magical. Where's uh, the line? He did exhaust side, which gives him the better uh, laying of the bike, so the bike's facing away from us. So you get mm -hmm. more of the bike, right? I don't mind exhaust side. Yeah, just and don't like it's backlit. It's backlit, but he's shooting at the golden hour, so it's nice even light, right? There's no harsh light back here, but. You can see the sun probably just set or is just about to set. It's pretty much on the horizon back there. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with you as far as position. I would have put it uh, just kind of at the... Is there any edit on that? Yeah, I'm sure he edited it. Kyle, look... if you're in here, I'm sure you did some editing on this, right? The forks look golder than normal. You might have done a little, a little vibrance action. Did it say what camera he took it on? Uh, he no shot this, yeah. yeah. What do you say? It's a Sony... Sony. What kind? What kind of Sony was it? It's an ILCE sixty five hundred. No, he that's says it was like an AS. Like, that's what it says there. It's an A sixty five hundred with an yeah. They a call it A sixty five, but on here it's called something else. Eighteen to millimeter f four lens. Yep. So he shot an f four, so he's wide open. I got ten of those. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's nothing. Easy so, money right there yeah. from motor bloggers. So good shot. Um, <laughs> definitely uh, clean shot. Um, it's clean. It's what would you do as far as editing there, Lando? I don't think I need anything. You think it's good just as it looks? Well, that right side. Mm-hmm. Maybe bump the shadows a little bit. So you just want the shadows up in the right side? Yeah, because it's just to follow it. It's okay. On the left, it's, you just need to be consistent as the left side. So, how far in? I don't know. You show me. Do you want to crush the whites? Ah, beautiful. Look at that. Like that? Look at that. Look at that. That's where you want. Oh, nice man. Look. Yeah, look how dark it looks. Look at that. It's so pl It's playful. So, that's the graduated uh, filter up here in Lightroom right here. So, if you guys use this, you can use different... Lightroom has these different adjustment brushes or different uh, tools that allows you just to kind of edit a certain portion of the photo. So, you don't have to do the whole photo itself. So, that's just what we did right there. And if you click the mark, you can see with the turning the O on, that's what applied that. And if I were to, for example turn this uh, exposure all the way down that would just do that so just That's so you can see the effect black. yeah just black. so you can see the effect yeah. though um yeah real good shot kyle said he all he did was uh he adjusted the vibrance contrast uh it brought out the shadows and he also messed with the water he messed probably around in the water yeah a little water yeah. right in he's kind of a playful water creature i see where you're going with that mike yeah go ahead get it out yeah <laughs> Let's just leave it. We'll give you a moment. Go we'll, on. No, leave it there. Yeah, leave it all there. right, buddy. Moving right along. All right. So, yeah, Kyle, good shot, man. Um, Lando, good good eye right there as far as evening out it. So Great here's eye. your before. Great eye. And it's just because the light's hitting it. So it, this yeah, has, this has one, it. one tree level here. Then you got some more trees mm -hmm. in here. But you can just uh, use that uh, Lightroom to just bring it up a little bit. And that's the power of Lightroom right there. Uh, great photo. Great looking bike. Uh, Kyle submitted, I think, on episode two or one. Um, oh, before we go any further, let's look at the winners. You want to do that, guys? Oh, jeez. Where am I at? So, what are we doing? Rattle off the winners there, Mike. Episode one. Episode one, the winner is Blaine. You remember Blaine? Zamora. Good old Blaine with a Z125, the only Z to win so far. That actually was a really sick photo. With a Samsung S6 or something like that. Yeah. Um, man, uh, man in the Box, uh, Faith Ryan Johnny edition. This was before he did all his edits to it, um, and then got bought out by Kawasaki. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, his, his bike looks a lot better now. Um, but this was episode two winner, episode three, and I just had to extend the side, so that's why it's all messed up here, just to make it fit on the 8x12 print. Mr. Tripp. Mr. Steven Tripp, he won with this guy with his nobbies. And then Grom Garage Justin won with this guy. He redeemed himself with episode four. Episode five was a showcase showdown. And guess what? What? Justin won again. He uh, beat out the previous three submissions and uh, won this with the showcase showdown. Last one was Wally's boyfriend, Main Squeeze, <laughs> Mr. MSX Warhawk. This one beat Mr. Lando. Lando, you had a good photo <laughs> submitted. It was, and then it was rigged. It, I think it was. It was rigged He was in you. here just getting text after text. Better vote for me. Better and I was, me. And I like, was trying to like, you know, it. I was trying to critique uh, Warhawk as much as I could. And well, Wally was just there. Warhawk had a good, he had a good photo though. He did have a good he photo. He earned it. He did earn he it. He did a good job. He's got the GP style exhaust on there. I just noticed that you can buy these uh, these uh, wraps on eBay because Mike just bought it. You saw it. We had the conversation yep. in the in the Snapchat today. You can buy these if you go on eBay and you type in what do you say? 
I don't know. It was a uh, Grom, Grom rap. Grom rap. So if you go on eBay typing Grom rap, you can find all these raps uh, right on eBay. And there's a whole bunch of new ones that just popped up. And for then that. you can win these submissions. Yeah. That's all you have to do. It's I just can't seems paint like mine. It. I mean, airbrush, bro. Yeah. Seriously? You, you, old school. Rap. Uh, I did <laughs> on a side note, now that I'm looking at it, the, the dinger built dinger built exhaust. I heard one of those. Dinger built? Yeah. Loud. Yeah, loud. It's Where'd just a it? pipe. Uh, the Fourth July ride. Fourth uh, July ride. That one guy had it. Who had it? I don't know. Was it the Z? It just sounds no. open. That was the Z had one. No, the Z had the man in the box one, but I think yeah. it's comparable to that. Yeah, it's, I mean they're just just pipes. Just, the man in the loud. box one is just underneath, right? But I like yeah. yeah, it looks just like the Dinger built one almost. Yeah, it just doesn't come out the side, just underneath and splits yeah. too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, very loud. Very loud uh, exhaust. So All said. right, so those are our winners. So again, at the end of this episode, uh, we're going to pick a winner, and that winner is going to win an 8x12 printout and some goodies. So, Kyle, good submission. We're going to move on to who is it? None only the number three, Mr. Miller Stunts. Give me the read down on Mr. Miller Stunts. We'll pull this up, and we're. Okay, Miller Stunts. Yes. Go ahead. 2015 Grom. He's got a long list of mods. We'll just name well, it. No, no. Let's make Lando read this. Lando. Lando, get in there. Do you need your glasses? That's a lot. That is He's a like, lot. The... And he earned it, so read through them. I'm not reading through all these. Lando. Wally, we need you back. Get on the first flight back. All right, Mike, can, read them. pay read Wally them. to do this. <laughs> all right, we'll read, the, we'll read the highlights. we got a Kitako clutch cover. We've got, he's got a uh, Caso Hurricane, I've never heard of that, air filter. I bet it's cool, though. It's probably in there. He's got the Brox uh, billet, velocity stack. Um, what is that? Something on the handlebars, I think. He's got a sump pump. I got one of those, too, at the house. What does that do? Uh, <laughs> oh, it pumps, it Move pump, on. It pumps, pumps the sump, you know? Go to the next one. He's got a um, <laughs> Finbro ECU. He's got a 150 injector. He's got a F4I cable mod, so I think you can adjust your idle with that, I'm guessing. Or, yeah, idle, oh, idle oh, cable mod. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go. Check this out. Boom. This was going to be the product spotlight, but I haven't installed it yet. But guy, new, new guy in our squad, um, another mic. Sorry. We got a lot of them. Yeah. He gave me this thing. It's a, uh, I think he ordered for I've this. given you stuff. Yeah, I'm giving you this. So this is a idle adjustment. I got to cut like a little bit off. I got to dremel a little bit off, but it's off a F4i. Uh, CBR. No, CBR929. What? There's an F4i you, one. You got the wrong not, one. It'll work. No, you got the wrong one. That's Hopefully it'll work. All right. But anyway, idle adjuster allows you to adjust it, hangs out. So that's similar to what Cause you need uh, that. Miller Stun has. This is going to help with the, the circles. The 360 wheelie challenge is about to end, but this will redeem me. <laughs> about to end. This about will to redeem end. me. In your last video, I thought you said you had No matter it. what else happens, as soon as you do a circle, yeah. you win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just, we'll just, yeah. Is this, is, so this eliminates your throttle control problem. This holds the RPMs yeah. up. You remember all the so times you can just would, idle in circles but now. Remember all the times I would like get up there and then stall out? Like, yeah, I'd now you, up there now and you then, Because like your stomach would go like, <laughs> whoa, oh, I don't like this. Let's let off. Yeah, <laughs> something's happening on the outside. <laughs> hey, just forget about it. Let's keep going. All right, let's go back to the picture. Miller Stunts. All right, let's give Miller Stunts a shout out. I know he has a YouTube channel, and Instagram. Go down the bottom. Shout him out. Shout him out. Shout him out. Go, through, go through the rest of his mods, and we'll uh, we're give only him a shout out. There. All right, so we got the gripper seat cover. What is that? Okay, so looks nice. Huh? That looks pretty sweet. So actually. it's made by Enjoy, who does he can't a lot of dirt mean, bike seats. Clearly, or he can't endo. Come on, bro. Miller Stunts, bro. Come Miller on, Stunts dude. Stunts your name. You better know what you're doing. He's got the braced uh, subframe. He's running KevTech shit, so that's good. He's got uh, this circular bar, which you don't see too much anymore. Everybody goes flat bar. But he's got a he's got the scraper on the back. Is that can do sparks? He can do, well, and he's scraped. It, it'll scrape. He's running uh, I a, scraped. a Brembo on um, purpose, handbrake. He's got PSD chain adjusters. He da, 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 has a lot of mods. It's a clean looking bike. Got white walls. Don't yeah. forget that. And loopies. And loopies. White walls um, and loopies. Yeah, so obviously that seat is gripping him. He's doing one handers right here. Um, the bride seat, the one I have, is horrible. I went back to stock. I can't stand the bride. Who else went back to stock? Mike? Other Mike? Sarasota Mike? He He's selling his yeah, bride. bride. So yeah. I think he went back yeah. to stock too. Tyler goes back and forth because those wheelies, it just it doesn't hold them up. Yeah, the, so right what off. happens with the bride seat, it's comfortable as can be. So if you want comfort, bride's the way to go. But it's just, it's slick as can be. So this this um, this little guy right here, <laughs> yeah, you, what's it called? Uh, it's the uh, Enjoy seat. Are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah, you get them on eBay and stuff. They're like a local company here in Florida. They make a lot of motocross seats, and they're grippy. 
Wow. They'll hold you on. They're good. Yeah, it looks very grippy. And you can't really see it, but it's two-tone. You can see the red. Yeah, there's red on top. Yeah. You can, uh, if you call them up, if you find their number, I don't know their number offhand, you can get it swapped, too. So if you want the red on the side to go with the plastic, or they do white as well. Uh-huh. Kind of customized thing. Yeah, I'd so probably just go all black. He took he, these photos with an iPhone 5S. Oh, he took this photo with an iPhone 5S. Yeah. This one is not Well, yeah, a 5S. he said the, some of the others were... He's, Okay, the first one was taken with a 5S. The others were taken from a friend with a professional camera. Do you know what his friend's name was? No. They but never get photo credit. I do they? know Look that. right there. It's right on the bottom. We I got do... photo credit. No. That, that, Eric's Photogrammer. Wandering photography. I, that looks like Photogrammer. What'd you do? You yeah. It's pho- yeah. <laughs> so, I do shout know out this... to Eric's. I'm going to put it right here. Photo credit is very important, guys. Don't ever crop this off. Facebook.com. Eric's Wandering Photography. Check him out. Good photos, buddy. Let's see if he has his information here. He kept it. What do you think he's shooting on? Well, I mean... Canon ADD, that's right. He's got the 50 1.4. That's a nice lens. Yeah, that's why I got over there. So, yeah. that's well, that's a 1.2, but 51.4. Oh, you went 1.2. Okay. Yeah, yeah, big money. Is. But 1.4 for the dollars, I mean, that's a great lens. Even the nifty 50, which is the 1.8, is a great, solid lens. You shoot an icon, don't you? Yeah, I shoot an icon, but I do the 50 1.8 sometimes when we go out the stunt lots. I got an icon, night. too. Yeah. Drop that down to 1.8. Open it all beautiful. the way up. All the way up. Oh, I, nice. open I open her. So up. guys, yeah. before I forget, Lando's here. Make sure you check him out. Check FPO me out. Action yeah. shots. It's David underscore Lando on Instagram. Yeah, hit me uh, up. Write it down on a piece of paper. Put it up. You got a piece of paper over there. We'll put his uh, Instagram. Make sure you check it out. I gave him shout outs. He was in the latest video. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, he got shout Make sure outs. you check it out. He is an Super outstanding dope. photographer. He does content rich photography, which is what we call when they're just if you take a bad picture, it's you, not anything so the content so is just so rich yeah. that every photo you take is good so that's this man right here he does a lot of dirt bike stuff uh, and there it is that's his instagram Wait, david is, is it light i need the light on it or yeah just it? bring it all the way photo I'll focus just bring on it bring it, it in there we're gonna going. focus on you, you want me to keep going right there Stop moving, stop moving. Right there. Ooh, that's cool. Wait. Uh, oh. There it is. David that's, underscore Lando. That's how I write it on my knee. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Check it out. Take it. So David <laughs> underscore Lando. Make sure you guys give him a like on Instagram. Tell him Photogram sent you. And a follow. You. Don't just like it. Oh, yeah. Give him a follow, follow so too. You can see all the content. Tell, tell him our future. Tell to Miller Stunts. Miller Stunts was the first <laughs> one that did the Finbro uh, uh, oil pump, and he showed it to everybody, so... I um, get it. I always give him a... Well, he was the first one to show the video of it actually working, which was good. It's on the back of a tailgate. The, the yeah, yep, 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 yep. So, yeah. so this is Miller Stunts on YouTube and on uh, Instagram, by the way. So check out Miller Stunts while you're on Instagram. After you uh, like and uh, follow Lando, make sure you do the same yeah. for Miller Stunts. All right, his picture, Finally. Lando. What do you think? Are we selecting this one as the best this, this one? Is, well, this is his picture, so this is the one we have to go with. This okay. is the one we're going to critique. A little too low. Okay. But I like the sky color. Okay, so he shot this with his iPhone 5 as, which doesn't have the portrait mode, which no. is, which is, you need it. It's value, right? For oh, night and day, right? Well, the portrait mode would have made, because the bike's out of focus, so the portrait mode would have made the bike in focus and the background out of focus, right? S- yeah. 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 I mean, everything's in focus. So with this, well, no, he's got F2.8. He does look a little soft, but I think he did something to it, right? I mean, yeah, but the, that, that sky ain't that blue. Yeah, so he did some filter to it. Could be. I, I so give him credit where credit's due. He has a leading line, right? He has this nice line that leads to his bike. It'd be cool if it was on fire. <laughs> that would be. That would definitely be a leading line. All right. So it looks far, pretty cool. As far as editing for Miller stunts, what would you do for for this photo? Uh, I think the red's too blasted, unfortunately. Too too bright. Yeah, yeah. like that's that's not the normal stock. It looks red. KTM orange. So with Lightroom, you have this ability to adjust individual colors. So if you just want to adjust the reds, if you want to make them magenta, mm-hmm. or if you want to make them orange, you can do that there. See, that's stock, right? You can also do uh, saturation. So this makes it more saturated or more dull. So I would bring it up a little bit. Luminance, a little bit higher. No, it's, so, yeah, you're it's right. It's hard to edit on a photo. Reds, reds are honestly the worst color to ever edit. If you want to do a good photo, especially in the middle of the day, they're just so hard to get correct. What's uh, the best color to get correct? White. White is easy. White's literally the easiest color to photograph for like a car or a... Uh, what about midnight metallic blue? Nope. Anything metallic or... Anything matte's good, right? Matte? Matte yeah, is then good. You don't have the shine coming off. It's yeah, nice. so it doesn't matter what time of day. You always get a good photo. Um, blacks are hard, especially chrome blacks, because then you get reflection of everything. Mm-hmm. White is the best photo you're going to get. So if you have a white bike, this guy, 
You're going to get the best photo. That's why mine I looks tried like and a... I submitted, but some, you know, one that looks like a plain one. <laughs> That's Wally. All right. So, yeah, Warhawk, um, for the photos, you don't have to get that low. I, but I like what he's doing because he's got a lot of noisy background back here. So he's eliminating that by getting low. He's bringing a lean line to it. He's got exhaust yeah. side. He's pointing the, you know. He's on the right track. He's on the right track. I would but just... it looks like there's a grass field to the right. Yep. It'd be he's... cool if he put the bike maybe in front of the grass field and had that just as the background. Yep. Even roll low. But I don't know what that leading line wouldn't be there, though. That's correct. It so wouldn't. You're, 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 you know, you're losing some, you're winning some. Yeah, you know? it's pros and cons. Yeah. Um, yeah, and there's not much I can do with this because it's just a JPEG photo. Um, but um, good submission. You followed all the right rules. Just maybe uh, go at a different time during the day where the sun's a little bit more flattering, so right before sunset. It's called what, Lando? What is that called? The hour before sunset? Sexy time. Golden hour. The golden, golden hour. hour. <laughs> That's right, buddy. So if you go the hour before sunset or the hour after sunrise, that's called the golden hour. Best sunlight of the day. The second best sunlight of the day is if you have a totally overcast day. Uh, you have just natural. Love it. Yeah, Love you just, it's perfect, right? Love you it. No, no shadows. No shadows. Everything's lit. It's so lit. Everything's lit. It's so lit. Lit. Totally lit. It's everything's lit. But There's it's no like shadows. it's Incredible. like soft light. So it's just yeah, a big soft. It's a big soft box. Mm -hmm. So you don't um, have to pay for anything. You just go out on an overcast day, take some boom, cool pictures. Drop it down the two point eight at F four, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Just blast away. All right, blast so away. Miller stunts, good stuff. Uh, let's. You want to take a break? Answer some questions. Let's jump in. Which uh, one are we going to edit? We're going to edit number three, right? That's what we went with. Yeah. All right, number three, Mr. Lando. All right, now we're going to answer some questions. Mike, you got some questions while I'm editing this. Go ahead and answer them or ask them, and we'll answer them. We have one um, that's been asked a couple times. What happened with the uh, Photogrammer VS versus Grammy Bear wheelie challenge? Why'd you say VS? <laughs> because Victoria's Secret. I'm used to the cognac. You know, it's the VS. Uh-huh. It's that upper shelf. You don't know about that. No, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a bargain drinker. All right, got it. Yeah. So, um, so what happened with that? I know that's been answered before, but that's yeah. But he posted that picture on Instagram with her like so you you the feathers like, together you brought it back up. That was like uh oh because we said uh -oh. you won before. I think on the last episode we said that you won because the challenge couldn't happen because not everybody was there. Yeah. Right. So Grammy Bear and Keith had to leave early from the um, Smoky Mountain crawl. So we were gonna the plan was to have and you know I'll humble up for a second. Oh. Oh, here it is. Take you the picture. Hey, 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 yo, hey, yo. <laughs> here it is. Everyone get attention. So he got good at wheelies, and he got better than me at wheelies somehow. Um, Lies. Have practiced. Yeah, he got better than me. So at the Smoky Mountain, the idea was to end it there. Um, he was going to do a 360 around me, but he snuck out of there early. But if you saw his latest video, he's completed the 360, but he's going to do a full video. I think he's going to release it on Monday. And oh, hold on, we gotta reset that. He's got a re he's gonna release it on Monday, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna lose the 360 wheelie challenge. So um, I just haven't been able to turn him. This little guy right here, the uh, idle adjuster, um, should be able yeah. to um, make it so I'll be able to at least m maintain him. <laughs> Come on, Mike. I'm, I'm, this guy. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm pushing it. So uh, we got Mike here. He's go. controlling. This is a budget. Uh, thing here, so there he goes. Budget rig. He's got to turn on the bu the button every thirty minutes. Sorry. Um, Jesus. I'm really out of focus now, Mike. I don't know what you did. You press every button, but not the right one. <laughs> Get me to focus. I can't tell with that little tiny screen. All right, hold on. Here you, you go. Throw it on the big one. Yeah, here you go. Get me to focus. Well. That's good, right there. All right. Yeah. So this little guy, the idle adjuster, should help with um with uh, being able to do three sixties. But to his credit, he's uh, he's gonna. He's going to win it. He's going to win the 360 Wheelie Challenge, and that video, I think, will be posted on Monday on his channel. You still have a chance, man. I could go out there and post it real quick. Yeah, you should, should be doing do this live show. All right, so for this photo, um, what would you do, Lando? I'm just going through, so let's just um, reset it. Well, I like... Whoa, 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 whoa. I like, let's I like, just start where it was. So this whoa, is where it Jesus. was. You can't see nothing. That was one question, by this the way. Is, this is what I've done so far. I crop it in. I get rid yeah. of this stuff on the side, right? Which is perfect. Okay. Now look, I think we got need, some stuff on the top right. I yeah. think you need to do your little circle things. I can't think of the name of it right now. Vignette. The on the bike. Yep. So I can bring out a little too much shade. No, no, no. The circle one. Yeah. No, I'm just bringing that down a little bit. Oh, okay. Like on the bike, so you can bring mm -hmm. out, like eliminate some shadows. Okay. So what we do is we invert this. There we go. See how it's dark right there. So yeah. I put that at zero, and then I bring the shadows up. Yeah. There you go. There you, you go. Sub cage protection. What I like to do also, a little clarity. 
like a little clarity. And then if you bring the clarity up, <laughs> mm-hmm. it does bring the blacks down a little bit. Yeah. So you have to... <laughs> you have to crush them a little bit more. Yeah. Crush them out. And then you see the reds kind of yeah. do a little weird thing crush over there. Crush those reds, too. I'm going to leave the reds alone. Yeah, they're Maybe hard to edit, dude. Now, um, the blue smoke is not from the bike. We had a smoke bomb. We did have a smoke bomb. It was 4th of July. Mm-hmm. What about the dude with his legs in the air? Was that something that you guys were doing? That was not planned. That's just where he fell. Okay. Play so he came he... off the bike all the way back there? Yeah, that's the where went, The okay. bike went, hop, hop, hop. Lando, being the good photographer he is, credit to Lando. Kept going, kept not shooting, saving the kept, bike. Yeah. And if you if you listen to the clip, what does Trevor says? Come yeah, on, photographer. Like, he's like, come on, get the bike. <laughs> I'm like, nope. Lando Keep just clicking. shoots. Lando just sprays away. He's down in photographer mode and just takes some pictures the yeah. whole way. So the bike goes from where he falls off to where it ends and then falls over. Lando's got the whole sequence sequence from him falling off here yeah. to da 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 da. It goes. I don't think you f- thought it was going to go that far. If you knew hindsight, yeah. you might have helped. Probably not. You know what? Though? <laughs> it, was, it was Tyler was closer, so it was mostly his fault. Yeah. I've looped a bike. To be able to keep a bike straight up like that, that's that yeah. in and of itself. How takes... could I not capture that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You that, gotta think in the that's... You know... And Jordan, the, the frame right before this, this fra- flag was yeah. in the background. So if you would have stopped to catch it, you wouldn't have got yeah. Jordan with the American I think he flag. He might be looking as well. He is definitely that looking. It's is... got a cage on it. You don't need to catch it. Dude, that's Let it fall. He is looking. photobombing America style right now. Yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. America. So yeah. I bring the clarity up a little bit, um, bring the shadows up a little bit as well. I Let's just, see. Like, you know, pictures work. It works, words. right? Jesus. A thousand so, loops. So, is. something's still not right about it. I don't know what it is. What do you think? Uh, it's it's kind of blown out. Like, uh, can you bring the... Sky? You want to bring, bring the sky brightness down? down? Or the highlights down a little bit? Let's bring the sky down I'm a little not, bit more. I'm a professional I'm photographer, but I was going to say the same thing. So, yeah. let's yeah. bring the highlights Good all job, the way Mike. down. Yeah, I do what I can. Yeah. In my limited... It's not even moving it. I'm yeah, moving so it. bring the whites down a little bit, contrast it up a little bit. Why don't you bring the highlights down? That was Its highlights are crushed to they're negative. They're crushed. Yeah. Crushed. Yeah. Crushed. Yeah, they're they're like, you can't do nothing with them. They're, 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 you, why don't you crush the highlights in the whole picture? So, if you do like yeah. a... If you do a... Um, is that on your phone? If you do, what do they call this? Your they phone? call this a graduated uh, filter here. Camera. If you do oh. this... Yeah, he's using my filter. If you do this... I don't know if you knew this, but you can then hit... So you see how it's hitting the trees up here? Yeah, I know you don't want that. But you hit brush up here, right? Okay. And then you hit erase. Mm -hmm. Hit O so you can see everything. Yeah. And And then turn on auto mask. And then you just paint off the trees. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's Get rid of it. So all you're doing is painting off that effect right there. Yeah. And obviously with the branches, it gets a little tricky, so... Yeah, you just... eh. But still... Eh. You you know what I do, though? If I need to do some advanced stuff, I drag it into Photoshop. That's all you do. Photoshop. That's all, that's all I do. So if you want to bring anything in Photoshop in Lightroom, what do you do, Lando? I have no idea. Command E. That's correct. So that's if what you, I do. If you hit Command E, it's gonna launch Photoshop. Do you have to pay for Photoshop or is this free? Uh, it's free for him. Well, I I pay for it, but oh um, okay. What's this, what's your password so we can log in? Creative Cloud. So yeah, if you yeah. want to get it, it's like ten dollars a month. Um, you get Lightroom and Photoshop. But check yeah. this out. Now you're in Photoshop, right? Which yeah. is more advanced. I rarely bring any photos into Photoshop unless I'm doing something crazy like sky replacements. Oh, right. But let's say months. that I want to do a bunch of cloning, right? So He's I want to get rid of I want to get rid of the smoke bomb right here. Put them on Mars. So check this out. I'm not gonna do all that. Oh, okay. It's it's only an hour show. <laughs> but I want to get rid of this guy. I just do that. Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh wait, the line's there though. Yeah, all right. it's all right. It's gone. All right. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look right. Yeah, I, I know. That doesn't look. There we go. So the healing, brush, <laughs> I don't even know. the healing brush you can do, which sometimes is a little bit better. But my point is, you can do like little guys like that. Look, here's a smoke bomb. Get that. Boom, that's gone, right? That's gone. Yeah. What else? This. Yeah, the oh. whole tanker. Take the building out. No, I'm not going to take that. <laughs> we don't even want that building there. <laughs> make, some, make that a beautiful lake. <laughs> Some terrorism can, shit right Can there. you put a deer in the background, too? That'd be beautiful. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just going to get rid of this logo. Pamela Anderson. <laughs> Little things like this. You guys are getting carried away. But hey, look, you open Photoshop, not th- us. I'm just showing. Like, oh. you can just get rid of little distractions, right? Yeah. So little distractions. Those there, signs boom, that boom. say warning, so do not get close. you're cloning, right? Wait, I'm, right now I'm cloning. Because you're, no. you're doing it so fast. I would definitely, if I had your skills, I'd get rid of trash cans. Yeah, That's, so... That, you don't like that in the picture. This is hard, because right now you'd have to mask this whole flag out. Mm-hmm. This you can get rid of, but you... I would just crop it in, but yeah, it yeah. gets harder. Um, but the more time you spend on it, you can definitely rebuild, like, skies. Yeah. So I have, all, like, a whole sky preset where I can just crop this whole sky out or clone this whole sky out and replace it. It's just tedious as can be. But yeah. my point is, if you save this in Photoshop, watch this. You hit save, mm-hmm. right? That did bum me out, this trash can there. I try to avoid trash cans. 
and porta potties. You hit save, and guess what happens? And he doesn't care. You get no, a he look, look, care. you get your original photo, yeah. which you edited. Yeah. Then you get your edited one, comes yeah. right back in the Lightroom. You can do your adjustments. They don't even know that's a nitrogen tank back there. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. Anyway, that's how you do it. Bada bing, bada boom. Adobe Lightroom. Uh, if you want to subscribe to it, Creative Cloud, you can do Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. I think it's like 10 bucks a month. Just check it out. It's a subscription-based thing. Everybody was stealing it off of LimeWire. Don't say you did that because, you know. Heck that, no. Yeah, you pay for it. Dude, but anyway, what is LimeWire? That's how you can do it um, if you want to do it. Creative Cloud. A lot of good stuff in there. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube, so feel free to check them out. All right, moving right along. Ask your questions in the live chat. Let's bring up, who do we have in the live chat right now? You ready for a question? I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay, this fella has, or this fella. Go ahead and highlight him, because I'm looking at your screen right now. Go ahead. Gustava. There he is. He just bought a Canon EOS Rebel T5i to 24.2 megapixel. It's like he copied that off Amazon. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not going to Is read it in it. his cart right now, and he's like waiting yeah. for us to talk about it? That's a lot to say, so I'm not going to say that. You can read it. It's an STM lens. Any Accessories, what, what does he want? things I should buy for, and or tips. All right, Lando, what do you think? You well, it depends on what he's shooting. If he's yeah. shooting landscape, get a you know a monopod or something just to hold it so your hand doesn't get tired. Yeah. Okay. And, I mean, if you're shooting models, you're gonna need a flash. You're gonna need a lot of editing skills. Yeah. A lot of a lot. editing skills. Yeah. So with with models, you know, especially you see like the the magazine stuff like that. All these little localized adjustments. I have. So let's just pull up Lightroom real quick. Oh, I have. Right. So here's an example. This is this is what I take with me on the road when I go to trade shows. These are all my presets for just localized brushes. If you look at it, go down to this stuff. Who is that? Let's start with retouching. So 21, I have skin softener, I have skin de uh, desaturator, uh, line diminisher, eye brightener, iris enhancer, lip enhancer, teeth whitener, catch light enhancer. So I got all these different uh, localized brush. So if I were to click this, and then go to teeth whitener, which I do on headshots. Whiten their teeth. I whiten their teeth. I give them the crest smile it. just by, look, I got hair and lashes, <laughs> all this stuff. I did but, it over one time. It doesn't look good. You got to be yeah. careful. Take your time on it. You got to take it. So you got to have, a, see, this just brightens the teeth up. So if this was a yellow tooth right here, this white line, it's just going to brighten it look up. Look at that. Before, like, after. Oh, look how white it is. Yeah. So. You could fix a whole stuff. Yeah. If lot. you want to get into portrait stuff, um, like Lando said, I mean, it's like a totally different world. You're, you, mm. There's a lot of editing you need to do in it. Um, you don't want to just submit anything straight out of the camera. You don't want to put them in direct sunlight. Um, so for accessories, back to your question, um, I would say go with good lenses, wouldn't you, Lando? Yeah, a lens, 1.8? Lenses are the key, too. 1.4, yeah. 1.8. If you get a good prime lens, get a 50 millimeter 1.4. That's yeah. I that, love my prime lens. The 50, that's what I basically carry on me all the time. Right. Like, yeah, and that's just a great lens. That's what easy. you're looking at me right now. You're looking at me through an 85. Dang. You're looking at me through an 85. But I'm on a full frame. If you got a crop sensor, which the Rebel does, their crop sensors, it's 1.6. Yeah, Basically, a 50 millimeter is times 1.6, which is like 80. Rain, man. 80, something like that. Look at this. Pull De out numbers. Definitely a crop sensor. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you're, a 50 millimeter 1.8 or 1.4 lens, I would yeah. recommend that over any kit lens. So you got this Rebel camera, but you got a kit lens, which yeah. is a kit lens, right? Yeah. But I mean, the Prime, it has no worry about you don't have to focus or nothing. So it's just, or you don't have to zoom. So it's going to focus on it right away. So your zoom is you moving forward or backwards. Yeah. Um, so I would recommend is getting rid of that kit lens. It's good because you have that versatile. Uh, you got to like, a, what, what do you say? What kind of what kind of lens number? 3795. Yeah. Keep it for parties when you want to just do stuff. And yeah, you know, when, when you want to take pictures of your friends and you don't really care. He's got a 55 to 250. I mean, that's a huge range. So it's giant. Just that's, give, that's outdoor. <laughs> that's what I use almost for motocross. So. Yeah, I'd throw it in her with that. But so, if you don't think that's enough, and find a different girl. That's a big one. That's not even. You gotta stand ten feet back before you shoot anybody. Yeah, you gotta shoot, shoot softly. Yeah. So, keep talking, Lando. Talk about Speaking of that, all that stuff. I'm gonna pull all these goodies out. Wow, that's I mean, a big it just, camera. It, it is what it is. You just gotta think about it. Thank you for noticing. All right, so I'm yeah. gonna go. This is kind of camera stuff. You yeah, guys are like that's kind of obnoxious. Yeah. I mean, that's come on. So, so when your neighbor like takes off her clothes, use this lens he's about to show you because this will get you Jacqueline, in real clothes. my beautiful wife, I do not do that. Lando is a creep. Oh, no, that's right. how you found so her, So he right? has a like he has her. a what a fifty five to two fifty. I don't know. That's a weird number. Mm -hmm. So he has a 55 250. It's whatever this, you wanted to be. This buddy. is a 7200, which is like the most versatile lens. This is a great lens because yeah, it's so versatile. What's it called when it zooms 55 to 250. within itself instead of it's, zooming? Yeah. Out. So this zooms. If you were to zoom this, when you zoom this, it doesn't articulate out. So yeah, when I go in and out, 
Kit lens will. Yeah, kit lens will go out. So kit lens will do this. Let oh. me show you this. I got a. This is a twenty-four. This no, went from this is a, a thirteen hour show to a three-hour show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one does it too. That no, one does it. Dang it. They're all pro. You can't. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. So yeah, this one does it though. This one articulates, which we can't see, can we? No. Here, hold on. You're gonna mess up the whole system. Yeah, here we go. This oh, is behind the camera. scenes. So this one, you see how it goes in and out? Yeah. That's what the kit lens does, right? Yeah. So. And that just kind of eliminates the time that it can focus quickly. Right, and it gets dusted. You're there. off the edge on that side. Yep, got it. Now Let's your pads all messed up. Oh my god. Right, I gotta get this back. Here we go. Yeah. All right, we're good. So. The twenty, the fifty-five to two fifty, I have literally about six different lenses that cover that focal length or length. It's range. a length. It's a length. Range. Yeah. Well, the range is how far you're looking. The length. Yeah. Is so, how far it'll cover. So this is a three hundred. So this is fixed. So back to Lando's point, a fixed lens. That is money right there when you're outside yeah, shooting that's sports. A, that's oh. a great one. But here's the fifty. So what that. Lando was talking about was the fifty millimeter. Take the shade off of it, so you can actually yeah. see the lens. Sure. Oh, that is supposed to come off like that? That wasn't. I changed lens right before. <laughs> so this is a 50 millimeter right here. Yeah. There you go. No zoom. No just zoom. Prime. Prime. Really sharp. Really fast. Um, just great lens. Great bokeh too. Yeah. So that's the the blurriness in the background. So if you're right. shooting a person up front, that background is just can't tell what it is. Right. It's blown out. So yeah. it's the portrait mode for professional cameras. So portrait mode in the iPhone just creates a computer generated bokeh. Yeah. Right. Well, actually, it has, it has two lenses, so it's taking a picture of what's behind it and what the actual subject is. And then is. it's merging the two. Yeah. Yeah, which is kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's great. Great to us. I think it's supposed to be like a 50 millimeter, like 1.8 or something like that. But it cannot do it in dark light. Yeah. It can't compose for the ISO. Yeah, it's just... Right. And I wish you had more control over it, which there's different apps where you can do it. Yeah. But anyway, if I were to recommend anything for that, I would just say invest in a prime lens. Get a nifty 50, which is a 50 millimeter 1.8. It's like 200 bucks maybe. Um, just keep that on there for anything where you don't have moving subjects. That's a great lens. All right, let's jump back into the editing. We'll go with number, uh, what do we have here? Number and number four. Number four. Bradley. Bradley, Mr. Bradley. All right, Mr. Bradley, Mike, what do you got for me? Bradley has he, got a 2015 Grom. He's got, he's got one photo. He's got one photo. Which one's him? Do you he's know? He's going to be black bike. He's got to be. He's got to be the black bike. Well, which one has be. knobbies? Uh, so let's zoom in. He says he has Maxis. Yeah, black one. Yeah, yeah. there he is. So he's got six M sixty twenty four uh Maxis, he's got Pro T Pro Taper bars, one sixty four BBK. That's a yeah, it's a big bore, right? Yeah. So uh, uh Kitico clutch cover, some oil cooler action, power commander action, and he's got a wide band. So good times. You have the same bars as you? Uh, what do you have? The Pro Taper ATV mids. Yep, yep, that's yep. what I got. That's what I got too. Them, those wide things that stick out 10 feet. Yep, they're good though, right? You gotta have that for, if you're gonna have the uh, handbrake, it doesn't fit on the minis. Yeah, that's the only problem. If you want to have your blinkers and stuff. Now, who needs blinkers? Put your hands up. Put your hands up, bruh. I like my blinkers. So, let's look at the photo real quick. Lando, what do you think about it? Uh... I don't want to be too harsh on the guy, but I mean compliment the, sandwich. I told you about right, this. Compliment sandwich here. Yep, you start really at the same time. That's pretty cool. That's pretty. The framing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. They got lines. It's a 2017 and a 2015. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like Today, best junior. of both worlds. Uh -huh. However, comma. Right. I'll let the photographers answer the rest. All right, so you started with the. It's nice that they're going different. I mean, directions. it looks like they're leaning on each other almost. That is cool. It's yeah. cute. Bubba Gump. So. Yeah, yeah. And I like that they're wearing gear. All right, now destroying. Uh, it's a basic picture. It's basic, basic ass bitch it's or just basic. basic. It's just basic. Like you took it with a, like the one take of those film iPhone? cameras that you, you buy say. for fifteen bucks at Walgreens. No, Galaxy Six S Six. S Six. Boom. You know what's kind of sad? Not sad, but it just shows you the level of what you can do with that camera. Mr. Blaine, <laughs> yeah. which we shun, yeah. he took this on an S6 yeah. or something like that, or a Galaxy S5 or something. Savage. Dude, Savage. I told Just you, dude. Murder the colors, too. <laughs> now he, that's, that was lit. That I'm was sorry. a good picture, right? Yeah. So back to his. They're starting off good. I like I like what they're trying to do because they're actually working at like making it a cool picture instead right. of just setting up the bike. Right. So they got it going in the right direction. What so, are the supporting images? None. Just, he's just okay. this one. So we're, we're just one and this. done. One and one. But. Yeah, it's, to Lando's point, I give him credit where credit's due. He, they thought about a good shot before taking the picture, really yeah. submitting it. They said, okay, we're going to have, I want to go this way, you're going to go that way. Take the picture when we both come up. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Got that. Now, I have to do credit to the photographer, because I've tried this before. 
And it's difficult. It's a tough one? Yeah, because you got two subjects right. that are trying to wheelie in front of you different right. directions, and you're trying to snap picture. Right. Well, with the Galaxy S6, oh, yeah, it, sir? Fo- it focuses on both, apparently. Oh, so it did I really think good. it focuses on the high school, it, it too. It got school it. in the background, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this would be a, let's see, what do you think the f-stop doesn't show us? But oh, it's going to be 22. Yeah, I was going to say 18, 22. It's, it's wide, wide open. open. It's, well, it's not wide open. It's pinpointed. Um, but yeah, it's high number. They're wide open. Right. No sleeves on the shirt. Couldn't be cooler. So what I would do with edit in type stuff <laughs> is it looks burly too. I don't bring this in a little bit closer, right, Lando? Yeah. Get it like. Yeah, because if you're going to, you could either put them in the middle or off to the side a little bit. And they got a weird crop, don't they? I don't know. What is, what is our crop? It's uh, Again, four by six. Too many numbers thrown at me right now. Yeah, this I is just, a, this is a DSLR crop right here. Yeah. This is a standard crop. I like the bigger crop. Like it all the I, way. I like it out. If you're gonna go like this, where show me frame, everything. Where would you frame it? I not like something like that. I still want the lines in front of me. I don't get rid of those lines. You I like it? that. Like that? Yeah. Which one? You cropping too much? Just like you want it a little just, bit. It's you a, want it more out? Picture. No, you're good. That's good right there. Yeah, I like the line in front of you. You got the, the, um, I don't know what did you Parking call Parking space numbers. No, the other you like the leading the, lines. Leading lines. Lean lines. Got some lean lines there. Yep. Um, vibrance. Bust that up a little bit. You can try whatever you want. Bring this down a little bit. Yeah, it's you. This almost has to be like one of those artsy natural pictures. It it almost has to be like a almost like a HDR. Like you got to go bonkers with, with some sort of filter. But that here's a before. Better. Here's I, like the, I like the colors. Yeah, the colors little, does help. A little bit better, right? It does help. So yeah, I would just say, um, you know, good planning. Just uh, you know, find a buddy with a, with a really nice camera. Well, and you'll nail this. You can get good pictures with the Samsung too. Yeah, but that's sitting still. This is action. They're moving. Yeah, but it's there's no motion blur, right? That's what I'm surprised about. Which is good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would say, wow, what happened to my head? You push that whole camera. Yeah. Let me go up. I would say uh, redo the shot, yeah. get a little bit closer, get some depth between you and the school, and uh, let's just look at it one I more time. The there we go. Get some more depth between you and well, you got depth between you and the school, but just get the get a little bit close to the action, mm-hmm. and then just frame it so there's not so much distractions in the background. And send that hill. Just run it down and take a picture of you jumping or something. Yeah, send the hill. Yeah. Send the hill. That looks like fun back there. It's a good little jump right here. Yeah. Can we look at? What the first submission was? First, just a flash of it. This guy. Yeah. This so that fair. was taken. We gave that one the five star. That was taken with a D thirty three hundred Nikon D thirty three hundred and th- and a thirty five millimeter one point eight. No, this was taken with a seventy. Well, this one right here, maybe this one. Someone is giving some detailed numbers right okay, here. Okay, like this was, yeah, that's this was what, the Canon that one. That was submitted. Is this what the guy saying, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, so this one right here was his Nikon. Well, Robert says that, but that's what he says. Okay, Robert took the picture. Yeah. And does a, he have an Instagram? On a 3300? Or uh, is it 300? It says 3300. 35 millimeter 1.8? Jesus. No way. No way. That's, that's not. A 35. That 3300 ain't going to pull that. No way. Bullshit. I don't believe it. Bullshit. I'm a Nikon man. Yeah, <laughs> not bullshit. Gonna, <laughs> there's not, photographers. Yeah, I don't, bullshit, I don't know. bro. I don't no know. way that's a 35, right? <sighs> but I mean, 33 and it's not cropped. So 33 with a not cropped sensor, that's 35 like a 50. is like a 50. Oh, okay. So, I mean, if he's pulling, but that's... But still bullshit. Right? That's not a 50 millimeter. He has to be like right on the road almost. Look how close that is. Maybe he was right on the road. Wait, we got. But there's no distortion at all. He said yes, that one. Wait a minute. He said oh, he's, clarif- he's coming back. Hold on. Clarify the one that was in motion, the first picture you guys went through. Okay. So are we talking? He's saying this was taken with a 35 millimeter. On Maybe a crop he's saying sensor? the. Is he saying the first one that we don't like that one? This one's a 7D. It's got the 7D yes. all over it. It's like if you look at the hints the. Hudicky, the metadata, 70D, so there's no meta- 18 There's no metadata on the moving one. And Correct. it has a, dirty, a D3300. Yeah, yeah, this has nothing. If, if he's doing that, good for you. Man. Yeah, that's man, good. good for you. If you're if that's like a 50 millimeter, well, it's yeah, 30 it times 1.6. Well, I don't he know. Said, that, he said, I, yeah, it was. Oh, right, shit. So when yeah. I do with my, my 750, oh, which shit. is a full frame, and I put the 50 millimeter on there, it's like a 35 on a crop frame. He said it took mm-hmm. a few shots. I bet it did. How close was he to the road? How close were you to the road? Because this is, for a 50, this is like, I would say this was like 110. It looks like 110, doesn't it? Like somewhere around there, like between 70 and 110. He said the last shot. That's the last Yeah, that's the last shot. Yeah, this is the last because, shot. Because, I mean, you have no part of the other road. Like, he's, he's got to be standing in the road. Yeah. 
And then he must have, like, spun. Or he just cropped the shit out of it. But it wouldn't have collected that, that clarity in it? Yeah. That's some high clarity in it. And he's low. I mean, he, I'd say he's, like, 150th or lower, right, with that blur? Because Grom's That's not like, going about 40 miles an hour around a turn. Yeah, because you don't even get any... You can barely see the bushes. Right on... Well, uh, AZ Grommer... It looks like Robert is the one, it Robert is the one that took the photo. Of AZ Grommer is saying thirty five millimeter on crop frame. Yeah, so it's thirty three hundred. Oh saying. shit! He said on the on the road, so it's whatever. Yeah. That's okay. good. Yeah. Hell yeah, good That's photo, man. For thirty, because with those, the wider you are, the harder it is to get like a good panning shot. Mm-hmm. Like they're just not the. You, you just got. <laughs> What are you saying? This dude said, I swear I saw Warhawk, hi- Warhawk hiding in the trees on the last shot. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, it's funny. Sorry. Who said that? <laughs> that was... Uh, uh, PJ? Yeah. Good job, PJ. <laughs> Good call out, buddy. All right. Let's move on. It's coming for you. All yeah. right. Back to... Uh, it kills everybody. <laughs> back to Bradley. Here's your finish shot. Here's your before shot. Uh, before, after, I bumped up the clarity a lot on that one, but whatever. Um, you kind of have to do something because it's not. Yeah, it just kind of blow I, the color out so it looks pretty cool. As Lando said, it's basic. It's not boardwalk. It's yeah. a basic bitch. No, it's not boardwalk with it's like facing the wrong way. Yeah, I got you. All right, let's move on to number five. Actually, let's take a break. Let's do a question. Products. No, well, ask your questions in there. Product, we're do a product, product spotlight. spotlight. Oh, all right, Cena. 20s, yes, boom! They finally sent one in. Yeah. I had to peg them, so I sent like a request when I had like a thousand subscribers. They pretty much said no with no uh, <laughs> no reasoning. But I circled back no about reason. a month ago and I said, "Hey, I did better. Can you send me one now?" And they actually did. I was trying to get the 30s. There's a 30s coming out now, a new one, which is supposed to be even better. And then there's a 20s, oh, 20s like new one. There's a 20s like I don't know, like Rev yeah. 2 or something like that. Uh, but I got the 20s in. You guys got the 20s. Mm-hmm. Solid, um, solid things, right? It's good. I yep. love it. How's it going to change my life? Because I've never had a Cena before. I kind of like talking to myself. I like doing hand and pull back. Oh, I broke now. So oh, oh, it's one. over. So I need to one Cena. Hey, Cena. <laughs> Is it Cena or Cena? Sure. Cena. Cena. I think it's Cena. anything you want it to be, bro. I'm gonna say Cena. Cena. Right. Cena. All right. How's yeah. this gonna change my say life? Because I really like just being in my own world and like handing. So if you're vlogging, it's gonna suck. Because if you if you're going if you're out on the motorcycle and your your goal for that day is to vlog, you don't want anyone else in there. If you're dual vlogging with somebody else, dual mm-hmm. vlogging. Say you're riding with a local motor vlogger named anybody. Tyler I, won't, Miller. I won't say a specific name. Oh. What's up, Dink Wheelie? Mm. <laughs> oh my god. But uh yeah, so then that could be good so you guys could vlog collaborate a little together. bit together. It's good but for But if I had like GPS Tyler or Land or See, Wally I had the other side here. of this. It's like when we're in a group ride and we're going through like a big city or something. Right. It's so nice to tell like it oh, is nice. There's a guy right here who's acting sketchy or you know so turn left, turn thinking, right. What I was thinking was you be in the front. Remember we tried to yeah. do this on the last ride. You be in the front and then Yeah, you can play in the back and you want me to watch for cops. Correct. Sweet. Cool, yeah. dude. Yeah, take I want all the you fun to sh- out of riding, <laughs> and that and it works like that. You can do that, right? Like, yeah, you can Lando, do that. get all the mm-hmm. way up a mile up the road, and then let me know if there's a no. Cop I don't know about a mile, or so, or vlog with you it. Can, that, that can actually be funny if you if everyone on there knows that you're going to be vlogging and like, hey, just don't be talking the whole time. Yeah, right. It could be good. So with when Jordan does it, you can kind of hear us, but he doesn't. Don't have let your Jordan mic. in it. I talked to um he some other motor vloggers. They said you have to put the uh, your mic near the mic where you're talking to be able to hear each other. I think it would be I think it would be weird to be able to do moto vlog without hearing you guys because then I would be talking. That's and, the way I did mine. And no one else, you couldn't hear what the other person was saying. I had to move the mic for the center right where the mic right. Because you got to be able to hear the other person. It's a, it's a test. You have to balance it. Yeah. Know? Or you can use the center backpack, which is Cena. <laughs> yeah. Garbage. Yeah. So. It's going to take Jesus. a little getting uh, getting used to, but um, I hear good things about it, uh, so stay tuned for that. Got a Cena 20S product spotlight. Do a full review uh, what I think. I've never used these before, um, so do a full review. Not only just uh, what I think, but how it handles as far as talk time, how often I have to recharge it, how the connection is with Lando two miles ahead looking for caps. Yeah. yeah. Or, if, or you, if you think it goes or that Mike. far. Or Mike, because I guess Mike has one, but he has to I've never wear seen that helmet again. No. You, you, you're what an idiot. This one. <laughs> this, this one. What's he doing? 
<laughs> He's trying to block you. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on our. You're on uh, our. the wrong. So thank you, Cena. I'll do a full. <laughs> Don't turn our camera on. on this uh, in the upcoming weeks, but uh, yeah, it's we'll, gonna be a lot of. Hey, Lando, go up here while I do wheelies in this empty road where there's definitely not any cops. And then I'm gonna have to go up there and I eleven hundred dollars for a wheelie ticket in Florida. Yeah, true. Well, how much do I like? Are they gonna get me for like protecting you? Nah, man. They oh. can't. That's nah, man. <laughs> All right, man. I'm sorry. All right, I don't know. Cena. Thank you. Here, here's oh, what God. it looks like. Here's One, what it looks like uh, extended. Do you ever extend your little yes. guy? Do you have so, to? No. When me and Tyler do it, just one on one, it's beautiful sounding. I can hear him breathing. It's kind of a little That's weird. Beautiful. Is it because of the sound of his voice? Yeah. Or just well, the breathing is just not. I'm not talking about the beautiful part about the breathing, but it's like crystal he, clear. Yes. When we add Jordan in, it pops. I don't know Ooh. what it does. It's just the audio pops because he's younger. Up. It's like <laughs> it's not the voice. <laughs> it just. I don't know why it does it, but when you add, it's like HD audio for one to one. Mm-hmm. When you add more, it starts popping. It sounds like literally like popcorn in your ear popping. But that one goes up to what? Like eight people. Eight, I think, right? Um, It says you can multi-way intercom up to eight connections. Yep. I think I've had six or seven maximum in it. That would get kind of like hard to follow, right? It it's does. a pain in the ass. Somebody has to have the app where you can auto- like manually add people. It, like So when I ride with Tyler, I have it on my phone so mm-hmm. that we connect. When Jordan gets in, he has it with both of us. So then we have to turn him off. Turn it back on, and then he connects all three of us. All mm-hmm. right, let's jump into number five He's from done Corey. That's it. Corey Craft, thank you, Cena, for the product spotlight. We'll do a full review. Yeah, blah, thank blah, blah, you. Blah. Moto Miyagi. <laughs> yeah, you still haven't got your shirt from TST. All right, Corey Craft, <laughs> number five, coming up. Mike, read off number five. What oh, do you yeah. got for me, my man? Who are we on? Number Eight, five. five. Miller? Uh, five Bradley is We're on Corey. Corey Craft. Okay, so he's from Missouri. He's got the 2015. He's got an FMF pipe, so he knows what he's doing. Pro taper <laughs> bars. Um, commas would have been. It looks just, just like your bar. Super just like your, legit. The only thing different between this and yours is the dual caliper and the rear sets, right? From yours. Yeah, I have different rear sets. Which yes. too. I could comment on that, but when we have more time. Um, he did some grip things. He's got a, a 905 racing stunt clutch lever. And perch TST flush mounts, Amazon integrated tail lights, um, fender eliminator made by himself, TST access lighters, um, blah, blah 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 stainless brake lines, and he he has an enjoy gripper seat cover. So Another he, one. That's an enjoy. Uh, he captured that with his phone, which is a Hawaii. Oh, I think we just dis- sure. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Mate nine, and it runs a. Something dual camera setup will buy something with something for something. I don't know that camera. That's it's like one of those. You know what it is? Ones. It's it's. I looked it up. It's a like it's like a Samsung S7 Edge, but it's like a. I don't want to call it a knockoff, but it's got good reviews as far as like. There's a couple YouTube videos out there. It's mm-hmm. Missouri. I mean, they don't have Samsung in Missouri, do they? I mean, isn't that where they caught fire? Yeah, I think. Uh, so all right, first off, what's I the take first? that back. By the way. I didn't mean that. He wants a free Samsung. Just send him one. What's the yeah. first thing that you see um, as far as to change it, Lando? It's crispy. Why does it look like that? Actually, it's like super in focus. What do you think, Lando? <laughs> Mike, get back I'm to think, life. Here. I'm thinking here. Right, he's it's, like, it's just like the other one we just saw, which is, I like it. Right. The stance looks cool. What's well, like, a couple things that you change right off the bat? Quick changes to well, this I'd photo. I'd use a better camera. That's, no, I'm sorry. Right, right now, I'm we sorry. got this picture right here. What would we change on I'd it? get rid of that green light. This guy? Yeah. If, if, if you knew Photoshop or anything like that, you could just... I, All right. First thing I would do, I would crop that in and get rid of the least the bright stuff up there because that bright stuff up there um, just makes it a little bit harder for uh, for you to uh, focus in on this guy. The other thing is the white balance, right? White balance is a little off. So I don't know. I mean, it's yellow because it's just... Oh. It's yellow because of the light, but yeah. do you like the tus- Tuscan light? I like it a little bit. I hate the Tuscan light. Because it's light. in a parking lot. It's different asphalt. Uh-huh. A little yellow to it is good. Yeah, I want to get rid of the Tuscan light. So, not that much, but here's a before. Tuscan light just adds those yellows. I just kind of bring it back to a to a neutral. And then again, we got a red bike, a red bike so it's a little bit harder to um, play with the colors a little bit. When you do the vibrants, uh, you do have a little bit of the red. Just kind of look here. Blah. Oh. Whoa. 
That's how what you can do in Lightroom. But oh, by the way, he has that enjoy seat with the red on the side now. Yeah, oh, it might be a whole red seat. I can't tell, but uh, it's, it's got black on top. I can see it. Oh, that's kind of mm-hmm. cool. It has the ribs too. That's motocross style. Yeah, because it goes so fast, you don't slide off. How much are those? <laughs> like twenty bucks, I think. With the seat, you just made a cover. Bucks. Oh, it's just a cover. It's just a cover that goes on. You, you, it's big enough so it goes around the stock one. You just throw a whole bunch of staples on it and start wheeling. Nice. So here we go. That's pretty much as much as I do. I'm not gonna try to get rid of that green light. The only thing I do is maybe if you want to take the saturation out of it, just so it's not so blah back there. You can do like one of those. I like that a little better. More white light. Yeah, and then maybe light. make it maybe not so much, but make it. Hold on. Oh, 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 not there. No, that's not what I want to do. I like just the white. Is it, it kind of just fo- like just the. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just. I'm trying a little bit too much here. The seat looks like fake. It looks like neon red right now. He's still messing with this light. I just yeah, I that light's got me. Anyway, some things you can't I'm just gonna, change. Yeah, so there it is. All right, let's not let's kind of speed it up a little bit. We're kind of getting hung up in the weeds here. All right, let's go to number six here. Good photo as far as uh, Corey, especially with a phone that's uh that nobody's heard of before. Um, I like that you you staged it right. You have the light kind of yeah, changed out. Right. Stage is definitely right. Yeah, stage looks if, good. If they put that on the dock, money. All you need is a dock behind you. You're good. Mm-hmm. Uh, just watch those uh, those bright lights behind you that kind of just take away from the photos. So you can just see it just draws your attention away from it. So, all right, moving up to number six, Mr. Andrew. Mike, give me the lowdown on Mr. My, or Mr. Andrew here. He took this with a Nikon D5000. Uh, didn't have his battery charged. Blah, 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 blah. No, read all that out loud right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so he ended up taking the rest with his uh, fiance's Canon Rebel XSI with a fifty with an eighteen fifty five lens. Uh, and he quickly... So 1855 real quick is a kit lens. Whenever yeah. we say kit lens, that's a kit lens. Yeah, that's not what I have. I mean, I got something better than that. He lives in Washington, uh, D.C.? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He edited it quickly on Adobe Lightroom 5. Yeah, it's Adobe Lightroom. Which so I don't I don't know is a 5 still isn't it like up to 10? Yeah, now? you get, well you got to buy Yeah, I don't, 4 is what I think 5 was what I had. 4 or 5 was what I had before I went to CC. I don't know. I don't think you can buy that much anymore. It's all CC. Yeah, it's all CC. Yeah, yeah I think 5 CC. was the last one before yeah, five, it gets 5 5 definitely before it changes. Yeah. So that's he's on a 2015. He's America. got them uh Pro Taper minis. He's got uh, grips 4.2 Innovation 12 bar he's got a new breed stunt slider cage he's got a damn moto low mount GP exhaust he's got his stuff wrapped he's got the RSC clutch lever he's got a ride it power tech blah 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 he's got the Brembo P34 brake I'm guessing in the back uh, that's probably blah. his best photo right here right Magara that, I like the graffiti one too HC1 no. is yeah. his uh, so handbrake that's the same one I got Canon filter, Fembro, garage, oil pump thing. What kind of um, 402 Innovation? 402 Innovation was this 12 bar. Okay. That's all it says. Yep, yep. And uh, pure power rear tire. He's got the stock front tire. And, yeah. Question, what's he got for a question? I would like to ask and have answered on PG Live is, how is your new Thin bro oil pump holding up, and did you notice a difference in oil or in uh, engine performance while wheeling? And there's more, but go ahead and answer that one first. So the, f- the performance, you're not going to get any performance when wheeling. It's just not going to... Well, versus someone who doesn't have it, if their bike runs hot, I mean... You you're not gonna, it's not going to be a performance upgrade. It's just going to be whether it damages your bike or not. It's not performance. Like, you're not going to... Your bike will perform... Well, it's like the, if you have no oil the piston will get oil or not so if yeah. you don't have it then you'll notice a performance deficiency if you do have it you won't notice that but deficiency. in the wheel yeah. you're not going to notice anything that different. is professional talk right there but <laughs> that was <laughs> loud in the in the wheel you're not going to notice any difference so while you're wheeling there's not going to be any difference the only difference is going to be like mike said your piston's going up and down like this it's either getting lubed what's it doing getting lubed mm. or it's not getting lubed and no so, one wants it not lubed yeah so that's if you want to dry chafe then you have no lube yeah. but yeah it's just gonna it's just shooting oil in there when you go back so i didn't notice any performance upgrade 
Um, there is a lot of stuff happening in, in the Facebook group as far as um, is it working, is it not working, are people having damage to their bike. So uh, I really want to get a clear, if anybody knows a hookup for the clear uh, engine covers, the valve covers, I really want to put one there for peace of mind. Um, but as far as I can tell, uh, the bike's still doing good. It might have a slight tick now. No. Mason thought it had a slight tick when he was no. here. No, he's stupid. Everyone with a Grom thinks they have a slight tick. Mason's an asshole. You, he, you don't <laughs> have a slight yeah, 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 tick. Blast. So, I don't know. I, I, it's, my Grom hasn't blown up yet. It should yeah. still be getting oil in there. I have not opened the case yet and see if it's still, you know, anything's clogged or anything. It's fine. But yeah. As a moto vlogger, you didn't stand it up on the back of your tailgate? I, I you didn't do that. Miller Stunts did it. Shout out to Miller Stunts. Miller Stunts, if you're still here. Shout out, buddy. Um, he did it. Uh, I think it's still working. Miller Stunts, if you're in the comments, still um, just let us know how it's working for you. But for me, it's still working fine. No performance upgrade. It's just getting oil to the piston while you're up in a wheelie. That's all it's doing. Was there a part two to that question? There's a couple. Um, Something about yeah, uh, show how to focus oval selection, editing, and Lightroom, if that makes sense. So basically, the thing you use... the. You already talked about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if yeah. he's been here the whole time. He knows. Yeah. So you're just using you're using this guy right here, and then all these choices right here you control. So and that's it. There's you can really, put that there, and then it just brings us to the last guy. Boom, who's boom, really boom, 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 we, we still we still have any. You can do that with exposure. Yet, so you can do that this. with saturation. You can do that with anything. That could be a, like a really legit picture if you could get all those people to move in the bus. I'm not gonna touch with that. Photoshop. Yeah. Don't ask them. Any other, I would ask Any them. other questions Shit. in that one? Nothing? No. All right. Are we going to vote this one? Um, so, which one do you want to look at? All right, at? so I like, I do like best, not quality, or I like the stance that guy right there. All right. What, what, like, what would you do? Because you, it's to blown. what we were whispering about, the black darks. Yeah. You put, so whatever you did in Lightroom, you've messed it all the way up. It would be better to submit a straight out of the camera yeah, photo. Yeah, that would have been nice. So whatever you did in Lightroom, you, you jacked up a little bit, buddy. Um, it, like this is how you, you know you got, he edited that in Lightroom because it's not straight out of the camera. He said he edited it in Lightroom. That's right? the submission. So he said that he used his girlfriend's camera, right, or something yeah. like that. The so one if you was look on the his... metadata. He's got it down here. It's a US Digital Rebel XSI yeah. 1855 kit lens. It almost looks like he has the white balance set up for like indoor shooting or something. Like, or or uh, uh, can you change halogen a, lights or something? Can like you that? change a light balance? Yeah. So, White can he change? That's what <laughs> That's I want. Photo grammar, See, look bro. At this. Look, you bring out the bricks. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. So, but isn't the what, bike what, still out of focus though? It is out of focus. But it's, this it's, is more like this being a Honda commercial. But like, look how urban and cool it is. Yeah. Look, it's by some posters. It's so, not. So the highlights are blown out. Um, your your shadows are really dark in here. I like that where you're editing it now better than what he had it though. I mean, yeah. I like the look of that. Yeah, I would just, if you're going to resubmit, and I hope you do, because Warhawk, he sucked the first time. He did the same thing. Because you're parked by a brick wall. It should be, like, red and beautiful. Like, hey, you, you, you can't make me like that. Yeah, I'm so, sorry. Oh, Jesus. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm out. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, see, look, you Comments, me hit me up. Now. <laughs> hit me. I would say your best photo was... <laughs> Yeah, you like the one. I like this the... photo, but it's still soft. You got the people in the background in focus. This is still soft. You look at the Honda, you can just see it's just not in focus. And it, that's not stock color. It looks yeah, like the just a mess with a little bit. when you get in the Lightroom, it's very easy. And Lando, you know this. It's very easy, especially when you're new with it, to just go bonkers. You hit a couple buttons, and she's looking a little weird. Yeah, you go bonkers with saturation or something mm -hmm. like that, and it's you're just, focusing on the grass, like oh, the grass looks dope, and then you, yeah, you finalize you go it, and crazy you're like, oh, with oh, this. So here's a saturation cool. slider. You just need to, especially, you need to start with straight out of the camera. The technology, especially with these new cameras, you have a kit lens, which is kind of crappy, but uh, these new cameras, the cam, the if you do JPEG, the camera's gonna get you pretty close to like an accurate image so when you start doing edits on these photos just do little little adjustments don't go bonkers yeah. on saturation or anything like and that. don't hit like auto tone never so. hit auto yeah and just, just kind of go go small don't don't go don't go crazy with it well, uh, black and white looks good but i like what you did you <laughs> you definitely had he he used good settings yeah. right wherever you, i mean that's in dc i'm guessing yeah he said dc yeah. what if it's a guy that's not a photographer that's just has a, like a uh, mid to professional level camera. Do they shoot in RAW or do they shoot in JPEG? JPEG. It depends if you're gonna edit it like yeah, crazy. Well, well, if they're like amateur, they're not gonna edit it. Right. But if you're gonna send it to us, send it yeah. RAW. 
So you, in some of these cameras, especially like the any DSLR, you can shoot RAW plus JPEG. I would recommend doing that, especially if you're going to submit to the show. Shoot RAW plus JPEG, submit both, edit your... You always want to, if you're going to edit anything, you always want to edit a raw photo. You don't want to edit a JPEG photo. You have less control as far as like bringing in the highlights, the white balance, all that stuff. So if you're going to edit, shoot raw. But if you shoot raw, it's going to be flat. So you're going to have to do a lot of editing. But uh, JPEG, 90% of the time, I shoot JPEG to track. Do you shoot JPEG to track? No, all raw. You do raw? I do. I run raw. Raw. raw, So I do JPEG to track because... I do JPEG. Are you out of the camera? You're good. You don't know editing, or what are you doing? Out there? Because I do thirty thousand photos That's what I'm in a saying. weekend. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm complimenting you. Yeah, yeah. Saying that right out of the camera, yeah. you're good to go. Yeah. Well, I see. Get, I, I turn and choose different corners, and you know, yeah. you kind of have no, to be yeah. ready. You definitely raw would definitely be. You would have more recovery. But if you're doing yeah. like mo- if you're doing a bunch of photos, like thirty thousand in a weekend, you, you can't fit it. You each you're so just between a raw photo and a JPEG photo, you have like a forty megapi- megabyte pixel, yeah. right? Mega. It, what are we talking about? Like the, the file final, size. The file size, it goes from like 5 megabytes to like 30. You're right. So from RAW to uh, JPEG or vice versa, yeah. you got like a 5 megabyte or mega... What megabyte. Is it? Megabyte. It's, it's so 5 weird. megabytes. 5 megabytes, MBs Jeez. versus like 30. So yeah, if I going, fill up a 64 gig in own like 800 pictures. So I have about 20 of these guys. These are each one terabytes. Yeah. Um, and you can see 2015 event drive. Well, you can't see it right there, but this will be... Like, I would use, like, six of these per year. Um, but, yeah, RAW will give you the most recovery. So if you have a blown-out highlight uh, sky and you want to recover it, RAW is going to give you more than JPEG. But if you want to do no editing, then shoot JPEG straight out of the camera. Uh, you'll just have – it'll just be better, right, yeah. than RAW, and you won't have to do anything. Yeah. yeah. All right, right. let's go to the last one, which is Mr. Tyler Miller. We're going to take one more question segment after this, and we're going to vote and pick a winner and wrap this thing up. We're running right over an hour 15 now. All right, so Tyler Miller of the Tampa Grom Squad, go ahead and read it off for me, Mike, if you could. Let's just bring Tyler up here. There's Tyler. Tyler Miller has... So he submitted his edited photo and his raw photo, or Ooh. his JPEG, his unedited. It's still a JPEG, but unedited photo. Super nice. I like it. Um, he has a vibrating seat, which I think is a new mod that he added. Oh, it's yeah. different than what he had last time. He must have liked it a little better. On his, yeah. So that one, I think he... I like that he put the bell, trademark bell, on that. Could, well, yeah. <laughs> because it's a bell, trademark bell. So he's got a bell. And he's got time during the day to do that kind of yeah. shit. And know? he found one that's trademarked by bell itself. So kind the XR50 bars, are those too, so. a wide or are those a mini? Or what I think are those? He's, those are just tall. They're about They're the same tall. as the... Because he's got risers, yeah. doesn't he? No. Okay. He just, it just, it's a tall bar. So he's got orange. And he was uh, running stock for the longest time. Yeah. He's got a GSXR, which, I mean, why wouldn't you? 1000 handbrake <laughs> setup. Is, this is all new setup, too. This is cool. To an uh, ZX14 rear caliper, which is kind of interesting. Uh, like stock levers all the way around, which is cool. Uh, a Yoshi low mount to kill the screets. <laughs> <laughs> stock exhaust for the cool places, um, which is. You know, gay. Uh, <laughs> along with mods from PG Live from Episode Six, so it's really just a stock exhaust. Take on his iPhone 6s, Lando. What do you think about his raw photo than his edited photo? That's a lot of color. A lot of color. Very but vibrant, right? Very vibrant. And that's Florida. That's what you get. You come here for the vacation time. You see that? Not edited or yes. This is edit. Not edited. This is edited. Oh yeah. Not edited. Edited in what? Do we know? What are you editing, Lando? I don't know. I think he just did it on his phone. On his phone, huh? I don't know. Did he write it in there? Or do you think I'm his personal secretary? I mean, I Tyler, know. have you not watched this shit before? Yeah. You have to, like, come on, dude. So... I mean, he just doesn't have access to that. He doesn't have, like, those cool... I would assume he edited in his room. phone. I think it's fan. I like it, actually, really a lot. Okay. Just... Lando, what do you think? I mean, I that know. is... I know it looks a little... I like the like, setting, weird. but I think it's a little a little dark. Yeah, you shadows, gotta think, right? though, that's in soft sand. Yep. You know how much real. effort you have to have to keep it up? You look, can, look at this. You is can that see it. That's a seashell. Look, whatever he used, he's, you know, it's you think outside the box here. Right. That's, you got to give him credit for that. I like that a lot. Because that's, who drives a Grom on the beach somewhere? All right, back to the photo, though. Oh, the photo? Oh, it's a little dark. <laughs> I think the photo is, like, fantastic. If we're if we're weighing that against some of the other photos we saw tonight, uh huh. I think it's fantastic. Which one? The wrong. The it doesn't matter which one. Quality wise, obviously, he shot it with an iPhone 6s, so he's 
His quality is a little bit sketchy. Um, he's got the nighttime, so he's got a good exposure on the sky up here. This is the unedited one. I'm just going to look at the unedited one because the edited one, a little vibrant, a little crazy with the colors. The edited one, if you could fix the sky, it's, the water looks cool. I so mean, let's go ahead and do a quick edit on this guy. Um, it, the shadows are low here, um, so I would bring the shadows up first off. And I would probably Crush use the my, blacks. No, the blacks are pretty crushed. Damn I'm going to leave them alone. <laughs> Um, but this time left alone black. Yeah. We can bring down the highlights a little bit up top. Um, let's go shadows, highlights down. That's probably pretty close. Saturation up just a tad. Clarity up just a tab. A little bit less. Vibrance up. This is this is a good like middle point between yeah, the edited and this original. And then again, yeah. I like to do what? I don't know, whatever that circle thing is. Bring the focus. So this is back to whoever asked that question. That's that circle. It just brings your eye to the subject. So, here's my edit. Here's his edit. His a little bit more vibrant on the sky right here, which a little unnatural when you do that. It kind of has a little effect here. Um, what is KTM orange? His, his, his is KTM. So, what you can do, again, you go to the... You select the orange here. And then maybe I can just bring up the saturation just a little bit. And the luminous just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more orange. A little right there. So, his, mine, mine's a little bit flatter. He was on the right track. He was on the right track. Um, he just, I can add a little contrast our, here. Both his submissions are off an iPhone, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I need to help Mel out. Yeah, so here we go. Probably a little bit closer. I don't know. When you look side by side, it's almost like his orange looks better on his bike. And you can go in there and you can do individual, for the sake of time, I can do it. But you can go in here with an individual brush and I can bring down... Um, just, I can do this, just bring down, well, not that much, but, oh boy, yeah, there we go. Bring it up. Yeah. You can bring focus into it a little bit just by doing that, so, mm -hmm. that helps a lot, as far as just bringing in the KTM orange to the bike, yeah, but nothing else. in design. So, his, mine, you know. Yeah. Not much to say about it. Uh, Tyler, great submission, buddy. Can't wait to ride with you, man. Super. Yeah. All right. Let's ask some questions, get some questions, and we're going to go ahead and vote on this. Uh, we're going to do a little different this time. This time, we got a piece of paper. Everybody got their piece of paper? You got it ready? For what? I signed mine. We're going to vote. So we're going to take your submissions, your votes, uh, down in the group chat. So let's That's go ahead and pull up the group chat right now. Do you want a question? We're going to go through them real quick. Go ahead and ask a question. And now I'm just going to... Put this up real quick. If you got questions, ask them. But uh, here, real quick, we're just going to go through them. This one, do you want to say this doesn't count? Robert, Robert's here, though, so I think it should count. Make it count. I think just it's count. Because the we photographer's have three pictures? here. We got seven. Yeah, but we have to go down to three, don't we? How did you get three out of seven? Dude? So we got you se said three. We got oh. seven <laughs> photos to go through, <laughs> but um, the since stuff. the photographer's here, I'm going to let this one count. So this is number right. one here. Actually, let's go through and just do like this. Yeah. Three on the first submission was what I meant. This. Miller stunts this. We're going to do this a different way. So remember when we do this, the whole everything changes. So which one do we want to do? The brick one? Yeah. Okay. You need to figure out how it doesn't change. I got it. Mm, horrible. Because so the numbers, I'm going to do my submission you, for We just Tom. spent an hour and a half giving them numbers of where they're at. Now we're changing it. Yeah. We like to keep on our toes here. Sweet. <laughs> All right, let's get the... Makes voting super easy. Yeah, let's get the Houdiki here. Um, what do I want to do? View, show, filter bar. That's what I want. Okay, so attributes, I'm just going to do reds. Okay, here we go. All right, so very vaguely, you can see the number um, up here. Let's just go like that and then make the thumbnails a little bigger. So we got one on the top left, two here, three here, four here, five, six, seven. You see the numbers as I go through them. You guys are going to vote down below. We're going to vote here on our favorite. We're going to pick a winner, and uh, they're going to be crowned the Photogrammer Live Episode 7 winner. Be featured on the website, and they're also going to get a free 8x12 in the mail with a sticker pack. Um, while we're doing that, we're going to take some of your questions. So if you have questions, feel free to ask them in the live chat. And then we're going to wrap it up and uh, call the show. So you guys write down your winner down below. 
Uh, feel free to vote in the chat, and before we do that, we'll take one more question. So if you got one more question for me, Mike, let me know as soon as they start coming through. I got so I'm one just going to go through them again. You ready? Uh, go ahead. What do you got? Can you give some tippers for um, shooting live action photos? So you want motion? Yeah, motion. So between Lando and I, we, we both have kind of different styles, right? Yeah. Like every photographer has different styles. And of course. What, yeah, they definitely do. What their niche is or what they, you know. Yeah, especially the shop. angles that they go Dutch angle. Dutch angle. Lando is a very good Dutch angle. So if you don't like know Dutch what a Dutch angle. angle is, it's where you tilt it. So you get that crazy JDM tilt. I've seen that a lot. So but I've seen you right. correct that a lot. I do. He so does. I, I'm a big. So people see you know, different styles. Different here. styles, exactly. Different styles. So I like the horizon straight. Lando likes it curved. Mm. And to Lando's point, there's definitely some good shots that Lando comes up with that are amazing shots. Yeah. And, and the Dodge Angle just gives him that that extra like edge. It it almost adds motion to yeah. it, right? Yeah, because it's mostly dirt bikes. So. so but going back to motion, so you have two different shots. You can either freeze the frame where you show the action, or you have a pan and shot, kind of like this with this one. Pan and shot is a slow shutter speed, so let's just say 1 50th or slower, even 1 100, depending on how fast they're going. Uh, so depending on how fast they're going, you're following them with your camera, and the background's getting blurred because that's moving, but your subject is you're staying... You're clicking away. Yeah, you're clicking away, so the subject, and this is what I do with my fish angle lens. I'm staying, We're staying at the same speed while we're going, so... I got the guy doing a wheelie here. I'm taking pictures on my Grom. We're both going at the same speed, but the same thing happens with panning. It, those are called roller shots, panning shots. You're still, you're standing on the side of the road. The subject's moving. The background's now moving because you're panning. The subject's now staying still. So you're taking the picture. Your camera and your lens is following the subject. You snap away as you're following them, and that creates this blurred background as you see right here. So this is called panning versus rolling shots, which you guys always see on my Instagram. And then Lando is uh, very good at creating those freeze frame shots. So yeah. you got somebody jumping in the air. Yeah, some, yeah, you don't have to create up. motion because you know they're float. You're not floating through the air. They're yeah. They're yeah. You know, Somehow they're in the air. They're in the so air. They were going fast at one point to get up there. <laughs> right. So you don't have to create motion. So yeah. sometimes I do though. Sometimes on a nice straightaway, do the same. Create like just like in this photo. Because it's a, just a different action of them on a dirt bike, either leaning all the way back and the tires spinning like crazy, throwing dirt, and it's all blurred except the bike and the rider. Yep. And just like, you know, I guess it gives it a so little bit So you can either fr freeze the dirt where you take a high shutter speed, so 1 1,000 or mm -hmm. higher, right? Sometimes 2,500. Yeah, you go bonkers because yeah. you got those fast. I, yeah, but then it starts freezing the tire. And sometimes it's like a little like, how it's fast a, are they going? Right, so it's you like a, it's a mix. So. Yeah. Um, back to that question. So there's different aspects of capturing speed or action. You can either freeze the action, and if you do that, if you have like dirt that's shooting off, then you're gonna be able to see that there's uh, obviously dirt shooting, so there's action there. But if you got something like a Grom that's going 35 miles an hour, which this Grom is probably going, yeah, he's probably going 30 miles an hour around this turn. You pick a low shutter speed, you pan with him, you create that motion. So um, it's it's kind of a loaded question where there's a couple different answers, right? Yeah. There's yeah. always different answers because everyone's like just has their different style. Right. So, sorry I didn't answer your question, but we gave a lot of information. If, and if that a, didn't answer something, I you answered it. Wrong. I think you answered it. Yeah. Once you once you start shooting, you'll understand how this comes together. Shoot it. You have to shoot. Yeah. Time. All right. Let's you go back to time. voting now. Yeah. Show all of them. Here they are all again. We're gonna go through them one more last time. This then we take the votes. Last we got, time. Everybody needs to vote for. Everybody only go ahead and vote one. right now. One, two, three. I'm just going to go through them real quick. One is Miller Stunts. Two, Grum Garage. Three is the Pan and Shot Arizona. Four is Four. Tyler. Five is the red bike that looks like Jesus. Miyagi. Six is the brick wall. And seven is the dual wheelie. So we'll go through them real quick. Bike. One right here. Oh, your bike. Two one. right here. Oh. Three right here. Be so much more Four crispy. right here. Five right here. Six right here. Seven right here. So go ahead and vote for your winner. Everybody vote again right now. Vote again. Only once. If you vote twice, you're disqualified. And we're checking. We, I'm checking. Did, right, did you, you guys write down your... You, did, it's like some fucking... Did you guys write down your answers? Yeah. Jesus so God. we're gonna we're picking our answers right here, and we're going to show them too. So we're going to do it different this time. We're going to take your vote. We're going to combine them with our vote. We're going to get Hate it. hopefully one that wins. And uh, that's how we're going to pick the winner. So we're no longer going to rely on just the live chat. Yeah, we're going to put 
Y'all do it more than once. Yeah, you guys go bonkers with the the which we like. We, we appreciate it's, it's it's cool rooting so on the one you bonkers. like. Bonkers. So we see some some Would votes going up. That's the live Mike, chat. you gotta you gotta take a tally here, what? buddy. That's probably the live chat. Yeah. You gotta take some tallies here. Just vote yeah. ones, guys. Yeah, I'd say that. I I mean I have the general consensus from the yeah. live chat, so, okay, I think, so I think we're ready to go. All right, so we're gonna hold up our winners. We'll start with Mike and Lando. What'd you guys pick? Lando first. I went four. Number four, went which is Miller. hold on, hold on. Let's pick up number four, oh, which it. is, well, it's no surprise, his buddy, which is now, uh, it's, it's not all about my buddy. It's not actually, That's Mr. Tyler. Who else parked in the salt water? Nobody. No one parked in salt water. Nobody. You know what? When I first saw that on Instagram, I was yeah. like, dude, if you can pull that off, if you can get the bike to stand up straight, yeah. hit it up with a picture. I knew that's what he was going after, yeah. but like, I got to see the behind the scenes. Like, That wasn't just easy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and vote for mine because I think I know what Mike's going to vote for, but I went with number... <laughs> can you see it? Number three. Dang! And then I said, only because he's here. I wouldn't vote for him yeah. if he wasn't here. If somebody submitted he lucked out, he popped in. He was here, so I went with number three, which is... Uh, let's just pull that up right here. That's that's a good shot. You can't that's, argue that. That's no, a, I, I that's actually think shot. that's a really good as shot. As far as too. a 35 millimeter on a crop sensor being able to accomplish that, yeah, that's like, what if you didn't know that extraordinary area that Tyler's in, but then this is a really cool shot. It's like, what if that was just the I picture with, by itself and you didn't know? Like, I the go details? with technique. I don't care if that's the guy, I, I give him the vote. So I go with technique. That's a technique. That's a that's a technically hard shot to get like that, especially on a Grom. He's slowing down the shutter a lot. He's creating that that blur, that motion blur with it. That's a great shot. What'd you go with, Mike? What do you got? I don't know that because I guess I'm too stupid. So I'm gonna go four. He's going four. Which is, which is Tyler. All right, what'd you guys say? Let's pull up the Tampa live chat. Tampa Ground Squad, what, what? Let's, there's, some, there's some things happening here. Let's pull up the live chat, scroll up. Let's get some, I'm going to get some tick marks here. And then here Go comes all the way hate up. for what all we voted for. What are you looking for? We want numbers and not z- Zuru Look, the cat for you know, uh, uh Zazu, you're disqualified forever. Yeah, go up. Let's <laughs> don't go ever do. Don't ever. All right, all right. go all the way up. Still, go all the way up. All Subscri- the way. All the way. All no, the way. it's like all the way. All the way. All the way. All just keep, all just way. keep running. All it. Way. He's right, calculating stop. in his head. All right, six. So we got stop right here. We got Zoo. We got one, two, three for six right there. He's doing the side. We got three, one there. So that's three. But Zoo again Hold on. for six. Yeah, I'm not counting him. So no more Zozo. Zoo. Grom Garage. She's got two. She? Grom Garage. Uh, three, Barack Obama. So we got three. Okay. You can't two. We got number two though. in here. So we got another one. 13 doesn't exist. <laughs> Perfect. Or maybe you're saying one and three. You can't do that. Three again. John says three. Slow down. We got three right there. So that's five. The shits. He already voted for. Th- oh, he said three. Okay. AZ says three. Hey, don't forget about Amber. Where Five. Hold on, where's Amber? Amber's chicken chicken got here. four. Okay, one for Amber. Or number four. Uh, hold on, where are we at? Five. Three, I see again. Okay, so we got... What I got right here. Check this out. It's a lot of lot we of. We got slashes. a threes. We got a lot of threes. You see it? So we got a lot of threes. Mm-hmm. And you guys both picked fours. Yes. I picked three. That- so we have a face-off. Is that we a got face-off? A split. That- yeah. Yeah, Is- we got... We got three, so we got these two right here. So our two votes. Well, we have is like four. The group Tyler the Romer. So four, I got three. Yeah. I voted three, and uh, the crowd, the group, yeah. voted three. So we're two and two. So we're tied. So, so we flip a coin. What should we do? I didn't think we'd have a tie. I mean, flip a coin. Whatever you got. What do you think, Mike? Tails never fails. What do you guys think in the live chat? Let me know what you think. Flip a coin, or do we go? Well, we already know what the live chat thinks, so yeah, we can't live go with that. Going three. I'll coin or no coin. It's a coin or no coin. Everybody vote. Vote. Now. Coin, no coin. You have ten seconds. Ten seconds to vote. Otherwise, we get my wife in here and she's a deciding factor. Oh, let's let's the baby just, flip. Let's just do that. Jacqueline. It's the baby flip. She I better be listening. She's got the gym yet. Wife. <laughs> Mike needs another alcoholic beverage. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and a vote. <laughs> and a pee bottle. I don't know if she's, she might be taking that. What happened to MFF Brothers? Bro, I, it's like I'm with 30. you, dude. I'm the only one here that's with you. These guys are silent, but not even deadly. Just, if she does walk in, just which one's best? Just let her just choose yep. right away. All right, let me let me give her a little text. Yeah. Daglin, which one do you think? Left or right? Right now. Left or right? <clears throat> Left. Left. Left? Boom! Oh, Tyler Miller. Tyler, woo! 
All right, baby. Thank you. She knows what's up. She's obviously prego. You can see she does have she does have good judgment, but uh, she went with number three. Or number four. <laughs> number four, Mr. Tyler Miller. Well, I guess I get the save on ship, and that's the good news. Uh, so, Tyler Miller, sorry, AZ Grommer. I, uh, I definitely... Uh, oh, Tyler, Tyler's in our squad, and I voted for you, just so you know. Wait, AZ. no, Tyler... He's in our squad? He's, lo- he's local? I would have never done that. Jesus, dude, I would have I would have never... Yeah. Yeah, you, Seriously? We can't do that. We can't do that, dude. That's weird. Right, I no, get that's... It. So whoa, you won, Tyler. You congratulations! Next time. Yeah, did you? Su- have you ever submitted? No, I would scared, win. Scared, aren't you? I would win. You're scared. You're but shout terrible. out to Tyler because if you look right behind Mike and them, even though I set up the shot and, and I helped them. him out, and he came. He he pushed the button on this guy. That's a good shot, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, I yeah. guess. We all push a lot of buttons, but his yeah. turned out. To look I mean, like his that. is okay. <laughs> it's like you just. <laughs> Whatever. Congratulations, Tyler. You won episode seven of Photogrammer Live. Slow clap. Yeah. Yeah. AZ Grommer and uh, Robert Jesus. was his name? Robert. Was, sure. Just Robert. Robert. Yep. What happened? Robert? I don't know. Something Robert? happened? Whoever took this Got picture, it. I voted for you. Technically, oh, that one. Yeah, Robert. I'm Robert. sorry. Robert. Yes. Does he have Instagram yet? Did he post it? Post it, Robert, now. He absolutely I'll did. I'll link it in the that's... video description down below. Good job, Robert. I think that was an outstanding shot. Um, Robert? Personally, I think you mm. you won just because the technical skill. Don't... Um, please resubmit for episode eight. That episode is eight geez. will be two weeks from, uh, well, second Tuesday, which will be when, Mike? When do you think it'll be? It'll be two weeks from now. Two weeks from Wednesday. Or Tuesday. I gotta have it on Tuesday again. So it's gotta be July. No, we're, yeah, it's gonna be July. July. Yep, it's gonna be in July. It's gonna be the twenty twenty fifth. Fifth. Twenty fifth. Gotcha. All right, July twenty fifth. We'll Are have you ready? Episode eight of Photogram Live. So please resubmit if you haven't submitted already. Even if you have submitted and you didn't win, resubmit. And uh, yeah, we'll have you on there and uh, compete. But Tower won with this shot right here. Congratulations, Tyler. Congratulations, Tyra. I look forward to meeting you. Uh, you I hope he shows up at a rides one time. I bet he rides MX. Like, just because of the KTM colors on his bike? He probably does. I bet. I bet he All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It went definitely a little bit further. Uh, Mr. Wally, everybody say uh, aloha to him. He's over in Hawaii. Screw (laughs) him. Jesus. MSX Warhawk. He's a big fan of Wally. Yeah. Um, flew him yeah. Out. He flew him uh. out. <laughs> he flew him out to Hawaii. All right, anyway, we're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Everybody say goodbye. That's on the couch. Goodbye. We love you. And we'll uh, see you guys on the 25th, I think I said. Sure. Yeah, 25th. Episode 8, submit at photogramma.com backslash live. We'll see you there.